see your recent response to that bikini stuff. <laughs> I need this to say, was it planned? I'm not curious at at all. I think that's probably the best thing and the worst thing about me as an artist because there's a lot of things that supposedly contain us, but they actually plan. Yeah. I'm not like that at all. I don't. I'm not trying to present as something like what I am is what you see. That like that's what you get, and I feel like I'm that way because that's everybody in real life something about social media is we try to present as something that we think everybody wants to see we don't really give a fuck what everybody wants to see i was even wearing a one piece if i not actually wear a bikini go if i actually wear like a two piece what happened like plant and breath hmm. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> with the shivers in the system ain't no telling how talking man of this sim Hey, I don't forget the line. With, the with the remix in the system, uh, ain't no telling how fucking man of this Yeah, yeah I think okay. that's how it goes. Let's, let's go um, go. Sorry, I'm popping already. Welcome to another episode of the Zero Conditions Podcast. Yeah, Today, there. going by what has been what was happening before we started the show, <laughs> it might be a very very interesting episode. It has to be. I'm here. Our guest is not here, but guess who is here? The one and only, the legendary, the man with the name. I love it. The man with the voice. I love it. Coinsy. <laughs> Bro, that's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, guys? Quincy Jones in the building. How, how do artists do it? It's your boy. It's your, it's, they're always saying he's your boy. I don't even know you. I Talk know my to boy. me, man. It's your boy in the building. <laughs> I want to see where bottle of Shiva's orange. Quincy, now Quincy drink him. That, that's not even true. I, 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 he, when, so I'm going to go back to when he invited me. He said, ah, Quincy. Shiva's one, Leo. That's what he calls me. He said, Quincy. <laughs> Shiva's one, Leo. And I'm like, okay. He's like, oh, zero conditions podcast. Hey, uh, come through. I'm like, yeah, man. Oh, bro, I'm down. Let's go. I'm like, will there be drink? And he's like, he day. <laughs> you know, and then I go here and it's like, 30 minutes to the show, and there's no drink. I just they see full bottle without opening. You know, check my story, it's there. I say, <laughs> oh, what? Are you going to open the drink or should we just face our front? <laughs> yeah, and uh, here we are at the beginning of the show. Wait, 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 Quincy, that was 30 minutes before the show. Yes, so when did we open the bottle? Around that time, after I called you up. So, like 20 minutes before 25 the 25 minutes. So, now 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, I had the bottle of The drink sweets, I don't feel like. I'm not even trying to, like, endorse <laughs> no, it's a great your drink. Um, it's a great sponsorship. Drink. No, no, I appreciate, nah, I appreciate it, bro. It's a great drink. It, it's, it's sweet. It's a great drink. And you shouldn't mix it, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to Shivers. This episode was brought to you by Shivers Rigo and Pop Central TV, Channel 1 and 9 on DSTV. Quincy Jones, oh what's in this up? I'm oh a Yermi. I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm a Yermi. Yeah, try it. It, it. it goes. It goes. Just put an R. I'm on your army. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I know someone that would say, um, that would say shivers. Sh Wait, like genuinely? No, just, but everything is R. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, share. That's my guy. Oh, share for him. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. What are you feeling this week, Quincy? I'm feeling remarkable. Ah! I, I know say wait we'll like wait it. let's not let's not act brand new unless your viewers are not on your socials mm -hmm. right but if they they're don't on feel your like socials they don't feel they like know mm -hmm. if you're on my socials you probably know but if you're in my car hidden somewhere <laughs> you know that all I've played uh, well, if, this if an, whole week is, is Rema. only Rema. Ozeba, 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 Ozeba. You won't get keep person with you jump first. Uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite line. I can't balance on the reason with the funny. But this is Bro. Bro. I know anybody that's on social media saying that album is not good only goes fire cash. I don't. So I think that if we go through the Christianity route. Yeah. Um, there's still mercy because <coughs> God is forgiving. Fair enough. Oh, wait, are you sure I can speak? Oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, oh, go, shall go, shall go. Chop your lip, bro. Look, I'm not even. Can I move the mic? Move and just, Thanks. Just talk. All right, sir. As long as we're okay, bro. Look, man, I'm not even gonna lie. 
Every single person I saw their tweets or their posts. Yeah. You know, now people like you, Kosam, but I'm coming back to you very soon. Every single person I saw their tweets and their posts yeah. about, oh, the album is trash, the album is this, and yeah. then they, they keep going. Yeah, they, they're yeah. trying to be intelligent, yeah, yeah. and then they reference a meme, yeah, yeah. and then it's just darkness. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I actually intentionally go to these people's pages, yeah. right? Check their previous posts, yeah. yes? And I see why they say what they say. <laughs> Because it goes up all over woman. What's your age, bro? There's no sense. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. There's no goddamn sense. Everybody, bro, that album is fire. Oh my, this one I black like, Lagos by they pull my shots down. Bro, flex your. K4 Are you not calves, on Twitter? K4 on calves. But you're on Twitter. No, on Twitter. You're one of the Twitter gods. Me? Bro, flex it. There's no more bias and things that men can do or women. All of us do it now. <laughs> we flex lap. We 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 show everything. We seduce every yes now. So, so me they show cleavage. You show. So rap. you mean I'm seducing people like this? My brother, pull it higher. Make her give them jungle fever. Thighs <laughs> of justice. <laughs> Thighs of justice. That's the of Front this it. Thighs of justice. Thighs of justice. <laughs> Flaunt your thighs, my bro. Oh, my God. And they tell you. <laughs> this what? You, see, you don't make mistakes. You go invite me to your podcast. Oh, my brother. Oh, Look, my man. God. Quincy, you are insane. <laughs> Love you too, bro. <laughs> bro. As we were saying about Rema's bro. album, I'm going to start by saying Rema's album is absolutely brilliant. Yep. After listening to the first play on Remo's album, yeah, I went back <laughs> immediately. I dropped the album. I went back. Yeah, I went to listen to all the previous records. Yeah, down to do maybe. I'm not even messing with you. Yeah, I love music like that. Yeah, and I realized that. Um, okay, let me say it in plain terms for the shallow-minded, wow. which is very simple. Remember that time when I know hear sounds of sounds from the other side yep. of whiskey. Yep. We they no like them. Yep. Meanwhile, now point of growth. Yeah. Right. Remember when I know hear uh, brother boys um, outside, outside album. Meanwhile, now point of growth. Yeah. We they no understand. Yeah. There's a time in the life of an artist after overcoming a certain feat or conquering a certain feat, bro. These guys want to be themselves yep because they have been either you do, music people know yep you've been tailored to be a certain type of way yep look man let's not do r&b i know that's your stuff but yep. i also see that you can deliver party anthems yep so you know what let's go with party anthems yeah let's deliver that let's yeah. do that bro this guy is messing around and he's absolutely honing the fact that he's remember this is him yep He's playful. He's this. Yeah. Bro, the social media accounts don't even tell us enough. Yep. Do you get what I mean? Yep. And that's where Blackbones used to chop everybody, yep. to be very honest. Bro, he gives you the person that is Blackbones, yep. and we all love him for that. Yep. Right? But it's a lot of tailoring, <coughs> which is that fine. That it requires. You know, it, yeah. yeah. Right? That's why I say it's fine. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? But now the music is reflecting the person. Yeah. And you're out here saying... He no sweet. Your dad is <laughs> deaf because, bro, that record is that album bro, is fire. Bro, I don't have one single skip on that album. No, no, you no, 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 no. You know how Eminem said. You know, I mean, you know, Eminem just released that album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eminem now said um, uh, something about. It basically just referenced. Don't skip the album. Yeah, yeah. Um, play back to know, back. Play back to back. You will miss some things yeah. if you miss a particular yeah, yeah. record. Bro, Rema should just copy that tweet and paste, and paste it. I did. Bro, that bro. album is absolutely brilliant. Bro, that's the best Nigerian album I've heard this year. As a matter of fact, that might be the best Nigerian album I've heard in two years. Hmm. I'm thinking about it so I don't offend my friends. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> to everybody. Me too, I'm trying to not offend people, but I'm not talking about it from a perspective. So, you know that different tiers or different metrics that you can use to judge an album like it's um quality in terms of critical acclaim yeah. there is now like commercial success and impact yes. and all of that i think the biggest album in the last two years has been has been um david's album who else i think it's a i think Who it's else? the biggest Nigerian album yeah, in the last two years right but 
I'm not talking about impact globally and Grammys, please. I'm talking about that's, success well, that's in Nigeria, right? But in terms of the quality of albums that I've heard in the last two years, this is the best album I've heard. No, wait, but not dropped an album as well, didn't he? Nah, bro. It's not, it's not up to par. Eh? It's a good album, but it's not on this level. I'm sorry. Bro, this album is concise. There is no... You, you don't have the time to skip anything. Do you understand? It's so well tailored that you don't have the time to skip anything. Like, the thing I respect about that Bonas album is also about the fact that he wasn't scared to go experiment. Yes. The album was hip-hop influenced. Yes. It was hip-hop influenced. Absolutely. I respect that part. But this album is a formless art of African pop music. Let me, it let is me, formless. Ooh. You can't... Say it again. <laughs> Say it again, I my see, guy. I see Sabi oh. Abi. I Sabi, my brother. I try. No worry, you know you don't take me Sabi. Formless art of African. <laughs> formless art of African pop music. That's what this album is because this is oh bold. My God. It is experimental, bro. This album is not. There's nothing you've heard like this album. Absolutely, it borrows from a lot of places. But there is nothing that you've heard all of it in one place like this album. Bro. And, and I know that a lot of people are going to say, oh, you work in the music industry. Now. Bro, I don't give a shit what you think. This is a... I was I speaking read. with a, a, a music exec yesterday, someone who has added like things in this, in, in this industry. Yes. The person called me at... Like, we spoke at like 8 a.m. In, 8 a.m. yesterday. And this person is saying, bro, this album is insane. And the sad part is, a lot of people are not going to get it. And this is someone that has nothing. This is someone that doesn't even speak on industry matters. The person is good, very influential, all of that shit. Say, call his name. I don't want to call his name. Why because now? he wouldn't want me to call his name in conversations like this. Do you, you understand? Tell me, will you tell me after the show? I'll tell you after the show. Okay. Now, the person, like, the person was, was like, bro, you need to play this album with headphones. As a matter of fact... This, is, he, is he affiliated to anything? He's not affiliated to anything? anybody right now. Nobody. Lovely. Right? So and just the, honest. Just honest, right? This pe is also a music lover. Yeah. He's someone that, that loves music in its truest form, mm -hmm. as an art form. Lovely. So he was, he went into like the breakdown. Look, bro, me that I had my opinions and it was, we were talking because we enjoyed discussing music. Yes. I just sat there listening to him because he was raving. I'd never heard this person rave before. Yeah, he said life. raving. I like that. I like that. That's, that's a rema thing. That's a rema thing. Raving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maven. Mm. I'll try. No, Shiva, don't <laughs> enter you. Let's leave it as raving. Because, I mean, uh, what, what, uh, Afro, Afro rave? That's Afro what rave. Was, I yeah. think, so right now, even, let's start with the Afro rave conversation. I was, I'm one of the people that has said Afro Rave is not a genre. It means nothing. Why? But with this album, yeah. do you think that it should There's be? There's an genre? Afro Rave. No, it's not a genre. Ah, you did play. Do you know why? Why? Do you know why? A genre is uniquely identifiable. This album is formless, but it has different forms. Like there is Mara on this album with Ozeba. Yes. There is like the Magic Sticks Ashake type of song with Yeyo. Yes. Um, a Google is like street pop, okay. but with a lot of like things. Um, the song with Odumudu Black is strongly hip hop influenced, so yeah. it's not one thing. And so, I'm going to say something. What to okay. counter this? Okay, Just please allow me into. Okay, please. I'm going to say during my conversation with um, Adi Kabasa. That's Adi Kabasa. I learned some <coughs> something that you know I feel very sad that I did not know. Yeah. But it was brilliant. Yeah. So he vocally illustrated Sashino <laughs> Peters. Sashino Peters is uh he vocally illustrated Sashino Peters' uh, evolution. Afro yeah. Right? Yep. And linked it to what's he called? Afrobeats. Yep. I wish I could remember exactly the uh okay. Okay, so he says Sashino Peters is and then if you slow it down you get afro beats yeah and then it's that's fella yeah and it's brilliant yeah but if pace is um deciding which genre is which just pace 
actually i think that rema can own an entire <laughs> an so entire genre my 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 take on it is, you know afrofusion is a thing right afrofusion is not an identifiable genre it's a it's a it's an identifier it's not a genre it's a it's more of a it's a description no Afro it has not been labeled no that's the difference there is no because if cc billion bro you're in the music business mm -hmm. let's leave this but this man is a music business leave podcast mm -hmm. you're in the music business mm -hmm. how many of these young artists have approached you and told you that the genre of their music is afrofusion a bunch of people a bunch yeah oh more like ton <laughs> yeah because it, it, what when people can when a lot of music have a lot of a lot of a brand of music has african influences mm -hmm. and they don't know what else is what else it is they just call it afrofusion afrofusion essentially bro but not the gel on even any yeah man yeah but you can't <laughs> afro beats so afro beats what's 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 the difference between afro beats and jazz the Afro beat, sorry, mm -hmm. Afro beat in and jazz. And What's jazz. the difference? What's the difference? You say percussion, Abi? Yeah. Oh yeah, now. Yeah. One and one. How distinctive one. is the percussion? <clears throat> yeah. To jazz. Yes, bro. Because when you hear it, it's there. You can't. I have, bro. I will play you jazz artists from the US that probably at the time were <laughs> happy that they were free from slave trade. And they right? were going back and influencing and African there was influences. Percussion in the music. Yeah, but the difference between Afro beats and jazz is because Afro beats with the, without the S is jazz. It is high life. It is calypso. Like it's not. It's the guitars are calypso guitars. Literally. Guess what? I didn't hear you. All of this boils down to yeah. my point, which is which is. You just mentioned that Afrobeat could be they, 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 this. Afrobeat is Afrofusion. Afrobeat right? itself is Afrofusion. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. after Afrobeat, mm -hmm. there's been a lot more type of experimentation. As a sounds. matter of fact, Afro Juju is not a genre. It doesn't make sense. It's Juju music. It's Juju music. Like, yes, you no. can't put Afro before something a genre that is african it no, doesn't make sense actually if you reference sashino peters it's yeah. juju music it's juju music yes but but with a lot of electronic influences shout out to baba by the way uh, shinomania what is what i give it to baba i'm King. not Absolute i'm not fucking around King. i am just saying the name makes no sense without due respect why the afro prefix is meant to describe things that are inherent that are not African, like you are describing things. So let's say Afro R and B. The Afro that you are putting there means that so there are saying, African yeah, influences. Yeah. But now Juju itself is inherently African. Yes. You can't put Afro before it. It's it's tautology. It makes no sense. It makes so no sense. You they talk to you within. Sashino Peters. Oh, sorry, sense. I don't the entire interview. But I think what Baba. But I think Sashi, what he, Baba. He talks to you, Sashino Peters. No guesses. Baba guesses. If you ah, make Ace and Shinomania, God, if you make Ace and Shinomania, <laughs> you are a fucking genius. Oh yeah, do you understand? Oh, no, don't play. You are a fucking don't musical play. genius. But what I'm saying in essence is, the name, yeah, the name, the nomenclature mm -hmm. should probably have been Juju Fusion. I think that would have made more sense. Juju Fusion in what era? Come in, on, bro. Bro, people were calling things fusion back in the day. There was mm -hmm. high life fusion. There was rock fusion. As a matter of fact, the rock fusion movement started after the Nigerian Civil War, where a lot of people were playing psychedelic rock with a lot of high life influences. It, it happens and it crossed over. Shout out to um A what's it be that? We are deviating from the Rema conversation. Shout out to AOT2. OG. Yeah. That's, no, no, no. OG. I need to get it. Shout out to him. It's a lot of figures OG. and letters. OG, but bro. Shout out to him. Shout out to I love too. your page. Shout out to AOT2. He is, yeah, man. He's, he's one of the greatest journalists this country has ever seen. By far. I agree. He's also my OG. I agree. I love him. I respect him a lot. I spoke with him today as well. But I call me. We have money to make. Anyway. Guess what? He's not the one that called your name. It's me. <laughs> At the end of the day, they snatch glory. Afro snatching. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't put Afro, Afro before snatching. Afro snatching. snatching is African. No, I'm snatching joking. is worldwide. So I say Afro in your books is correct. <laughs> Afro snatching, you know, what is anything? Yeah, man. Now, um, so back, back to, to Rema. Rema. So I feel like Afro rave, like if you 
a genre is a genre when you hear it like you have set sonic identifiers for a genre to be a genre does that make sense you have set sonic identify identifiers for a genre to be a genre so when i hear like when i hear trap i know it's trap when yeah. I hear hip hop music, boom bap, I know it's boom bap music. Yeah. When I hear Latin pop, I know it's Latin pop. When I hear high life, I know it's high life. When I hear Ogeni, I know it's Ogeni, right? So I didn't think I like it that. was, right? But my, my thing now is after I heard this album, I can, I can concede the reality that Afro rave is a style. Do you understand? I can't I call agree. it a genre. Mm. It's a style, like because, bro, this album. When you listen to this album, man, you are thinking of parties, dr- with all due respect to everybody, drug infested parties where a lot of people are just dancing from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Bro, it that's takes, what it sounds like. Bro, it took. I'm I'm a grown bro. I'm not even. I'm nowhere near Gen Z. I'm a grown adult. Yeah. I got family to feed. <laughs> and I listened to that album. And I almost flawed my... What, I enjoy my music best when I'm driving. Yeah. I almost flawed, flawed. my... What's it called? Accelerator. Bro, it's so intoxicating. Because of the record... Uh, um, Ozeba. Matcha, no. Made matcha, last. made matcha, made matcha. You didn't match your... You just didn't match and they go... I, bro, I, it, I can't think say now. Nah. Wait till that car we ain't for inside the song. Uh, hey. Bentega, I think it was a Bentega. No, it's not Bentega. It's what not Bentega. It was a very one of those fast cars. It wasn't a luxury yeah, so car. It, oh, what kind no, of No, it was one of those fast cars. I remember during the course of yeah, the conversation yeah. about saying that to say it is so emotion infused. Bro. And you don't get that anywhere else if it's not personality driven. No, you, you and don't. And that is absolutely what he brought you to don't. the album. Yeah. Other than that, I was um, like, as we were discussing yeah. earlier, yeah. I said, everybody says, oh, look, they're, uh, they were a rapper before they become who they are at the moment, all yeah. of these things and all yeah. of that. Rema is the only, so far, yeah. Rema to me is yeah. the only rapper convert, Yeah. right? Convert that has been able to utilize hip hop style. Burner Boy to as well. To his advantage. Burner Boy as well. Yeah, Burner Boy. Oh, my God. Burner as well. Oh, who do me? Yeah. Who do me? Burner as well. It's Burner Boy. As a matter of fact, everybody comes from hip-hop when you think about it. No. Everybody say they come from hip-hop. But not everybody comes from hip-hop. But not everybody comes from hip-hop. Everybody is hip-hop influenced head. by hip-hop, though. Yeah, 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 No, being influenced by hip-hop is different. Bro, this guy is singing yeah. the whole record. Yeah. It's all hip hop P going on on that bro, record. Bro. Sorry, man. Bro. Ah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Bro. This album. Please, can I say this? Please go. I can't balance on the resemble the politician. They say I pick like a first star. Hey, my God. Let me tell you. So. <laughs> oh. Rema. Rema makes, like, every time. So I listen to this album and. I have only two critics, right? To Talk to your guy. Rollouts, right? The rollout of the album, mm, which is part of the conversations that I've been... I've been having conversations with a lot of people about this album. Hmm. And there are people that don't like it. Shout out to my guy. Don't about creativity, by the way. I wrote, I wrote... I read that they review. I, I don't necessarily agree with... I don't necessarily... I don't, Summarize it. What I did he get, say? What he said was, it's a bold album. In 10 years, we're going to look at it and think that this is a bold album but that the execution wasn't there because it felt like Rema was overconfident on the album. It felt like Rema was... It felt like Rema was just... It felt like he was one take. A lot of the things were one take because he was saying a lot of random things. Now, I don't disagree with that. That's one perspective. I can see why he says says that. But what I think... Who who, was his name? Adiayo. Shout out to Adiayo. Shout out to Adiayo. I I, I think that you were right at the earlier part of your summary. Yeah. And then the other part, it was just garbage. Shit. Right, cause oh, come on, bro. What, what what do you mean by wait? What did he talk? Is so, the last part. What was that thing? So you what said? he was saying is about the execution of the. You music. see, execution as how he was overconfident. Which kind? So, of so that's a perspective. Bro, uh, you said I can speak. You can't. You said I can speak. Oh, yeah, speak. I I'm sorry. Yeah. I love. I did. I oh, shout outs to you, but bro, if you say stuff, you gotta come correct. That was daft. 
Because let me tell you why. Why? One thing that has always sold in the creative space, right, is personality. I hear you. It has always been the A game or the X factor to anybody. I hear you. Right? Every single person in every single thing you do, yeah. you have to cover personality. Yeah. Or reflect who you are in or there. Else it's not going and to there it becomes it's not going to correct. Right? Comes to a TV presenter, radio presenter. I'm not gonna use this one then. TV presenter, radio presenter, artist, producer, all of these things. Personality, personality sells. Personality sells always for the quality sells. It does because always. somehow everybody can Connect. bloody relate. It's connected. And you're telling me he was overconfident as how? So Oga, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. And um, what's his name? Adiyo. Oga Adiyo, listen to me. Bruv, of all of the things you said, you don't have the check or the advance that Rema has on his head to deliver an album and make sure the number... Bruv, <laughs> let's talk music business, right? You. Oga, you say a day overconfident. Do you know how many people listened to it before the release? Yeah. He didn't just drop it. Yeah. He's not a Rema, I drop record and drop the record. Yeah. No, people listen to it. They probably had fights in the camp yeah. to say, look, this is what I want to drop. And he must go. And they're thinking of advances that have been paid. They're thinking of monies that will be recouped. They're thinking of all of these things. And this particular album came out to all of us hearing you. They tell me, say, they overconfident. I tell you, sloppy. Shiva's not the entire body. Sorry, bro. <laughs> they tell me, you said I can talk. Stop it. Shiva's not the entire body. You told me. You I'm you sorry. can't talk. I'm usually you can't not talk. like this. No, no. But you are usually me, like this. I'm a guest. You are like this. I'm a guest. Off camera. He told me. You are like this. He told me. Go ahead. Go off. That's what he told me. Go off. I'll slap him. I'm not lying. I'll slap him right now. Oh, God. See, overconfident. Overconfident. Calm down. Person gets Billboard Hot 100 record <laughs> as a Nigerian artist owning the record. You know the year waiter, they tell you, he owns the record hey. featuring Selena Gomez. Worldwide global hit. In short, I'll tell you for a fact, no offense, racism, they on top. Hey. Because that song supposed last for that chart longer than it did at the top spot. You did tell me so over confidence. You never know. Bro, tell him to talk to me about music that's popping, right? And yeah. getting at least 20K US in UK, like 10 locations. Yeah. That. Go let, to, let, wait, wait, wait. Go to the UK, let me do 10 me. locations. Let me Go to the US, do 10 locations. Go to Canada, do 10 locations. And talk to me about my confidence. Let me, let me it never you. happens. Let me chime. You get to, oh, no, don't chime. You want to defend them. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not Sorry, it's your podcast. Let I me, forgot. Let me no, no, keep going. My bro, I don't play you. with me, bro, man. I, I don't disagree. Overconfident. I don't disagree. I'm upset. I'm genuinely upset. It's okay. I see the point that you're trying to make, right? And the point is... I don't necessarily. I don't agree with what he said. It the large part. You can't now. Me and you now, for fight the reason now for why, your podcast. The reason why I don't disagree with it is, I I've learned in music, especially when it comes to music opinions, that there are parts of people that there can be two opinions at sometimes, right? It's okay. My own opinion is, Ravage EP was a victory lap for Emma. Do you understand? Absolutely. It was a victory lap. Like, Rema was flossing on that album because Rema has always been flossing, but the flossing was different mm -mm. on Ravage EP. It was, it was, it was, it was the heavy. confidence Do you understand? was there. He, said, he even said it to the point where I don't derive my confidence from a number one record. I don't give a shit, right? But this album is a lifestyle album. Do you understand? This is, li this is Rema's new lifestyle you know what's funny that's no give me a we second. should have taken a cue from yeah. uh benny boys yeah this is a that lifestyle. was the first cue this is a lifestyle album about and this is rema's this is inherently nigerian rema spoke more yoruba on this album it's intentional do you understand ozeba is a mara record there's a diff there's a reason for that the only problem that i have with ozeba is that ozeba didn't have dj yk mule at the start that's See, the only problem that's the only problem i have with that i need song. to i need to give you props 
on this particular phrase, guess who came up with that guess, guess who came up with that narrative who i dare you man <laughs> ah i'm so upset i'm upset let me tell you why this is why because before we started the show i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> we're just banting you know having a conversation and then he's like oh ozeba yeah. should have had dj yk mule at the start and the moment he said it yeah. as a you, you music kept quiet. creative you kept quiet like i kept quiet i said god what is this this bro. is so brilliant because bro it now opened my mind to what about the when possibilities you, did feel, you did physically feel your mind now you feel spread. spiritually and then uh, what was i saying yeah i started giving different instruments that could be on could the be on it they drop the drums bro and it's it's brilliant yeah so shout outs to idea <laughs> <still. laughs> But I'm not going to lie. I'm always true to myself. Because what you was talking for, yeah, they're that. very brilliant, I respect bro, because that. I respect that. If it, bro, as a music person, if that record came with DJ YK Mule, bro, it's, it's that gone. That is the first, uh, what's it called? first release for yeah. album. Uh, or exclusive. EP. That is the uh, exclusive. Yeah. That's the first record yeah. that goes out I'll to guess everybody. Our guest is here. Yes, sir. And she looks fantastic. Can she come in? Absolutely. Um, CJ, please clear road. Clear road! Let her step onto the set. So I really believe that. I think the album is incredible. No, I it's fantastic. It's, be it's absolutely fantastic. Hi, Simi. Ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm trying to get a hug. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Simi, uh, are you going to hug Hi. guests too? Yeah, okay, sorry. You know no, I say you, you know all guests too. How are you? Oh, from what? You know Quincy? I know her though. Yeah. It's, it's calm. I yeah. think that's fine. Since City FM. Since City FM. Since 20. Why we want to do this live on the. Get TV out. Show. Just say what you want to say. But my other women lobby. <laughs> I'm a big boy now, now. Now I'm messing around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so let, let me say it this way. I met you when you were whooping. Wait, uh, it's your show. I met you when you were whooping niggas' ass on FIFA, right? Oh In like, what What was it? 2013, 14? Salute to the flag. I remember. You beat well. everybody. I feel I'm. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Is this yeah. better? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Congrats I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you feeling? What makes you tired? I've did had a very before? long day. Okay. What did yeah. you do today? Well, I've had like six interviews what? and another uh, podcast. Another podcast? <laughs> yeah. Was it a podcast? Well, like it's kind of like an interview, not a podcast. Not a podcast. This is my podcast. I don't, I don't podcast? trust Steph. You no, had to another it podcast was, before she no, 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 it was not a podcast. It was, um, it was Bayou. Oh, it's Bayou. Yeah, oh, it's not a podcast. Shout, shout. Oh, okay. I like yeah. that content. That that, 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 did you enjoy that? That would have been yeah. nice. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if he did, though. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I say one thing? Uh, permit me. Yeah. It, it, it happened. I say you are our, and um, what's it be? John Legend, wife name? Chris uh, oh. Chris <laughs> You, yes, she you was our though. no i don't think no i don't think anymore no obviously a bigger brand definitely fair enough obviously not somebody's wife <laughs> it's simi come on but in terms of the club bags and all you oh. do on socials <laughs> simi, do you want yeah to? right up there no okay That's i okay. had a drink yesterday and i feel like i haven't completely recovered from it you're not yet. a drinker i'm not a big drinker Mm. But I do drink. On your best days, how much can you drink? Not that much. I'm a lightweight. So I'm not a big drinker. I don't I, like. I'm not gonna brag because I have nothing to brag <laughs> about. <laughs> oh, well. Like if I drink two glasses of like champagne, I feel like I'll be good for the night. If I take one more, you know, it's a party. If I take one more, I'm knocked out. So, what's a party like with Simi? Oh, after three glasses of champagne. You know, I'm I'm like a 
I mean, like, I mean, love her when I'm when I drink. Like, oh. I always tell my friends, I love you so much. Like, you've done so much for me, and I cannot imagine my life without you. Wait, you don't do that? It's giving melody. You, you don't? Nah, fuck yeah. that. I'm toxic. Oh, oh yeah. That, I'm no, toxic. No, no, no. Ah. Melody. What, what? Nah. I'm toxic. I'm not telling nobody I love them after I love after them. After a drink? Oh, yeah. Fuck that. When you're solid? Nah, nah. Fuck that. No, you haven't had enough. Nah. I, <laughs> no, some people I, are not I feel like, like that, I feel like spilling my not guts, Not everyone's bro. like that. I feel like spilling my guts and telling you how much I hate you. Oh, wow. That's yeah. intense. Mm. No, well, me, I, me, I love hard. Yeah. I love yeah. harder when I'm like... I don't, I don't think I've ever been drunk by being super tipsy. Do you ever want to be drunk? No. Uh-uh. No, you're sure you want to start. Uh-uh. What's it called, Sayina? You want to drink? No, you no, you I'm going to see Quincy. No, Vez. That's the bottle that Quincy opened. Oh, today? Today. Is it today? <laughs> Less than 30 <laughs> minutes ago. God damn. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's crazy. He was yeah. harassing me for I opened the bottle. He invited me. Yeah. To his podcast, yeah. I have mine. Invited me to you see that free love. <laughs> you see how I mean, you feel him. Talk to you about the podcast. Invited me to his podcast and did not offer me a drink. I got here. I never early. said I did offer you a drink. I brought the bottles. He brought bottles out to flash in my face. Yeah. Hey, hey. No, I didn't flash the. Should I just me open my flash eye bottles? To the drink and he Wait, my so you drank this that. much? So this is my glass. That's yeah. it. He has oh, have you been glass. drinking? Okay, you guys drank it together. Yeah, bro. Oh. He's a liar. Even so. Somehow. On even this so. show today. Like both of you. See, even who do you believe? Him. Wow. Because you just, the you just have the face lie. of someone that's probably lying. Because I said I'm toxic. Yeah, well, there's probably... Yeah, I think Normal that's level. it. I think that's See, it. See, I have questions to ask you. It's not my show. Maybe we'll talk about Chrissy Tegan parts first. Why did you stop being very savage on Twitter? Um, because you were savage. I feel like I still am sometimes. I just, maybe because I'm not on Twitter as much as I used to be. Mm. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really count it as being savage, Sha. Ah. <laughs> you just express yourself. <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm not like, my goal is not to be, <laughs> My goal is not to be savage. It's just, I mean, the truth is that. You know, people see sometimes your response and they assume that that's like, oh, you're always clapping back. But like, if you see the, compared to how much stuff you actually get, like how much stuff you're seeing online, like I hardly ever reply, honestly. And that's how I am in real life. I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I would say that I'm very quick witted. So if like if my friend, she says like, like someone says, thank you, I say, I'll be like, no, sorry, I'll be like, sorry for yourself. That's me. Even if like it's for real, like I'm a joker as well. So. To me, it's not me, I'm just vibing. Vibes and vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so, the time that I used to spend on Twitter, I know some other things might have taken it. Like, the most, n the things that are not obvious that might have taken that space, what are they? That are not obvious? Yeah. I mean, mm. I think all those things are pretty obvious. Oh. Yeah. And again, Twitter doesn't, Twitter doesn't give the way it used to. Twitter used to be you. better, yeah. Because I used I, I was a you. proper Twitter girl back can in I, the can day. Can I say it for you? Can I say it for you? Bro, the people we get sense where they banter, <laughs> not they again. Everybody has gone to greener pasture and it's <laughs> that people. That's why they say nonsense about music. I'm going to add to that. I think I think the problem is we became woke. We became oh. woke. Mm. So the, the, bro, do you know how crazy Twitter used to be? No, that's, I don't think, that's for me, or that's not what it is. No, I, but I, Twitter I, used to be the home of intellect. I yeah, agree. I hear but that. it was like, it, it was is, like it very intellectual banter. You say what? I think what's I don't know. It's you, you and your FYP, I mean, what they call Fuck it. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is FYP not like a TikTok thing? For you. No, I think no, that's Twitter has a, a, Twitter has an FYP thing, you know, or something. For you, page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Yeah. For you on Twitter now. Shout bro. Shout to Aaron Must. Sometimes I feel like today is like a competition of who can be the most toxic. Yeah, I, know I, that, I know that some people are toxic, but they're still also intelligent. Yeah. I'm not saying that now Very they're few. not. It's more like, it's like a competition of who can be like the loudest <clears throat> weird person. I hear you. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just, I just don't have fun with it as, as like I used to. So I hardly go on there, except I'm trying to sell something. Because we got, became woke. I don't because think it's a work thing. I think some wokeness is necessary. Thing. I hear you. By I agree. the way, yeah. So I, I don't think it's a work thing. I think it's just the quality of conversations that happen now. 
plus um I feel like we tend to be like a bandwagon type of people where everyone is doing what everybody else is Very doing. Very sheepish. Exactly. So because this is how it's going, everybody feels like that's how because it's the same people that, <coughs> that are have Instagram accounts, if you yeah. know. And Facebook accounts. I mean, even though they don't go. And then there are different personalities. Yeah, it's just like you switch your personalities depending on where you are. So that's profound, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's solid. Um, is I'm a guest. Can so, I ask a question? Uh-uh. Ah, yeah, guess. <laughs> but if I answer my question now, but if I answer my question, I, I do. Oh, I let me hear. Okay, got you. So. I want to go to, I, I see, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not hiding it. None of these people pay me, right? I love you, die. Of course. Right? No, 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 not on a, yeah, I love on you pieces. <laughs> Let me tell you why. You see your recent response to that bikini stuff? <laughs> oh, God. I love you. And I love the fact that your team were not, I don't know, if that happened behind the scenes, yeah, don't post it, don't post it, don't post it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shout, out, shout out to STXO. The STXO, yeah, STXO. yeah. I don't think she even knew when she posted. <laughs> no, <laughs> she definitely <laughs> did. It. Obviously, she did. She did. She's on top of it. She saw it with everybody. Saying this to say, was it planned? No. You just made a random. Video. I'm not curated at all. I think that's probably. The best thing and the worst thing about me as an artist, because there's a lot of you know planned, you know like things that are supposedly uh, spontaneous, but they're actually planned. Yeah. I'm not like that at all. <clears throat> I'm the kind of person that if I if I have an idea at two a.m., I want to post it at two a.m. You know, like I don't. I'm not trying to present as something like what I am is what you see. That like that's what you get. And I feel like I'm that way because that's everybody in real life. But um, something about social media is we try to present as something that we think everybody wants to see. I but I don't you. really give a fuck what everybody wants to see. Because you can't keep up. I want see me is the first guest on this show that cussed without saying, can I cuss? Oh, right? I heard you cussing, so I knew I could. Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I heard you cussing, so I knew I could. Um, So, um, I think that it's just, I just, you can't please everybody, like um, Ebenezer Obi said. Oh, 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 oh. So it's like, no matter what you do, someone is displeased, but someone is pleased. And do you know, you know that a lot of people still don't know that you were by the pool till today. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, they think I just I'm not dressed playing. like that and went and just stood on the street yeah. beside some guys and started just doing one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. Have you ever done, nigga? Just hang. Oh, you should tell me. You're on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> I walked into that one, didn't I? Bro, you moonwalked into it. <laughs> Billy Jean. <laughs> 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 sorry. Um, see me, sorry. Um, yeah. But you weren't always. You, it felt like the brand is evolving as well. Is okay. it the person that's evolving, or the brand? How do you mean? A bikini photo wasn't always a semi thing. That's not true. That's actually so untrue because. Um, wasn't visible to us. I mean, like I think people point. see what they what they search for, because um, last week I was in Mikonos, right? Mm -hmm. And like for Flex. like two, three days. You don't know reach like soft stuff. You don't reach Mikonos before. Oh who? Whom? <laughs> <laughs> oh Mikonos. I know how to help me one more Benny. Me man. It's not far. It's not? It's not far. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just quite a lot of funds. What can I can I get the drink? Uh -uh. Come on, man. I, I've okay. Been, I've been uh, <laughs> quite uh... dry. All right. So I was saying. So, do you still think I'm the one that's drinking, or he is? I think you're both drinking. Okay. Don't interrupt her, please. Fuck As off. you were saying. <laughs> so, um, so prior, I posted like, I'm a, I was even wearing a one piece. So if I not actually wear a bikini, go. If I actually wear like a two piece, what happens? Like pants and bra. 
Mm. Hey! I think so. Like prior, I had been posting pictures of me by the pool at the beach yeah. wearing my swimsuit. Yeah. And you know, that's the one that people were like outraged that. And that's the thing. It's like, how many things are you going to care about? How many things, you know? I mean, I'm older now than I was previously. So um, when I first started out, like mainstream, I, I didn't used to cuss on social media. No, so didn't. people thought I was like, <laughs> but I've always had like a sailor's mouth. Like I just, I probably cussed the most out of all my friends. Me too. So, you know, but like it just, I just wasn't like doing it like publicly on social. So people say, oh, she's just a nice girl. Was that intentional? Yes, that was intentional. Because at the time, a lot of my music was very family friendly. I did, like a little, yeah. yeah. You know, so that was definitely intentional. Um, and the other I've gotten, you know, like I've, I'm doing more risque music. Not a lot, but like, you know. Just still family some, friendly. Yeah, I still, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I still have. But like, I'm more things. You're grown. I'm more, yeah, I'm grown. Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for being grown, yeah. you know. I'm not trying to cater to anybody's feelings, you know. I don't need anyone to like, to tell me that they approve of a choice that well, I Well, you made. just said it was fine to be woke. Isn't That's, the concept of wokeness... some wokeness is necessary. Is but it is. Oh, some of it. Yeah. Some wokeness is necessary. Some wokeness. What, what part of it might be? It's, this is a very, very intense, <laughs> broad conversation that I will not have today. <laughs> it's a very intense conversation. Yes. <laughs> it's it's too broad. And it can get very problematic very quickly. Yeah. And I think yeah. also parts of it are very relative as well. There's some things that some people agree with and their opinion is not wrong it's mm. just their opinion and i think that should be okay and sometimes the opinion is not wrong it's just the way you're saying it yeah, yeah. so it's, it's not everything that you have to agree with some things it's okay for you not to be on the same page just find something else to focus the on the moment you learn to unlook on yeah. social media your life is better quality of life yeah said by a twitter person um, Simi, oh, may, yeah, I, may I? What the may fu- I ask your guest as a guest? Yeah. Baba, now you and now you, you and me, they do. Melody is uh, a Excuse me. She's doing something somewhere, collecting some very interesting money. Your protege. Mm-hmm. Me, Mark, I don't want to talk about. Continue. But um, Simi. Yeah. <laughs> With your current project. It's at a time where, personally, I believe that music is saturated. Oh, yes. Right? The. You <laughs> say, oh, yes. Do you think yes. it is? Yes, I do. Okay. It I, is. Yeah. And coupled with the ever growing digitization ha, of. Oibo. Oga, relax. You speak more. Relax. Of music, right? Do you. At point of making the records and point of release, right? That's back end now. You guys are plotting, planning, constructing how to release the project, uh, Simi's project first in maybe a bit, right? Did you think it was going to be difficult to, to put yourself back out? Um, it's a good question. I don't know if I would say... That's how I would say it. I knew it would be, it wouldn't be the same how as so? before. Because like you said, the industry is saturated. Um, and I think that like there's two sides to it. Yeah, it means that there's more talent being discovered mm. and being put mm. out there. And, and there's a lot that, of people just releasing I know, stuff. but I mean, everybody deserves a fair shot, I guess. So um, there's a lot of music being put out there, you know. So the attention span of people have... Had it has really dwindled. It's not as you know. It keeps reducing. Yes, exactly. So that's what you, that's the, that's the climate that we're competing in now, you know. And I feel like the worst thing about the music industry here is that we're all catering to the same audience. It's mad. That's it's chaotic. It's it's chaotic, especially for someone that's not like that does like a more niche sound like me. You know, imagine me singing to the same people listening to portable. Or things people were listening to. Um, I'm trying to find, you know, someone that's like that. That's in a genre that's very far from mine, you know. And Is there a problem with singing to people listening to it's portable? It's not a problem. It's just people have different music tastes. I have, mm. I have my music taste is not the same as my closest friend. So you don't listen to portable? That's not what I said. 
I'm asking. Don't put words in my mouth. I did not even I'm not going to answer that because I know what you're trying to do. I'm not even but doing any... It's not even my show. Don't no, I, I know I, I'm know, a guest. I know some of his songs. And I res- actually, I respect his hustle very much. Yeah. I think he's a hustler, so... Come on. I, can I, can I, can so I, I don't think it's about my taste or like my lack of taste. I'm just trying to make a point. You two have not let me make. Oh, yeah, please go. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I think that because there's such a... We're all catering to... like Is that that we are catering to the same audience... Or the audience has to is having to fine tune their ears so that they can absorb everybody, mm. which can be very difficult. Somewhere like Yankee now, everybody has their fans. Mm-hmm. There are people that like punk rock, that like like um, R&B. There are people that like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to say yes, hip hop. Totally. So like people focus on what they like, you know. But here we don't really have that luxury. Mm. I don't think so. I used to say that right that the the industry is saturated. I think there's a lot of content. I think it's, it's part of the reality of where we are as a people. Like when we were growing up, I'm 32. I'm not that old, but I'm, I think I'm old enough. You had to go out to get the music. Yeah. You had to go buy the CD. Exactly. Right? And when you buy the CD, you don't have to wait for it. Fuck you, bro. You don't the have to wait for it. my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and you don't have to wait for your parents. Some of us had to, if you don't have the disc man, you have to wait for your parents to not be in the sitting room. And you put the music in the yeah. sound system and all of that, right? But now, the music drops on Friday. All of it is available to you At right the now. At the same time. Yeah. Right? So I think what then happens is people... So there's a concept in economics developed by this guy called Will Page, right? Will Page used to be the, the chief economics, um, economist at Spotify. He calls it globalization. So the concept of globalization is you that... Globalization. Yeah, globalization. Like globalization, yeah. Global, but it's localized. Global. Yeah. Right? That there was a time when the biggest artist in Nigeria, that could be the biggest artist in Nigeria, would be 50 Cent. Now... Yeah. No foreign artist is bigger than a Nigerian artist in artist. Nigeria. Never. True. Right? Never that. Exactly. Yeah. So what then what now happens is the interest like is broken down into silos. I don't think it's as much about attention span as much as people are deciding what they want to listen to. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I don't agree. Okay, please. Um the thing is they have everything now. It's like Deci- like it's hard to, it's hard to say i'm deciding because everything is there yeah there's no you're not going to choose to get this thing you have access to it already yeah and usually the things that come in your face are the things that money is pushing i hear you on the- <laughs> exactly i was going <laughs> to what, say what is in your face that you remember it's like top of mind there's songs that i started out not liking but now i know all the words because even I without hear it every day. To yeah it because someone is singing it or playing streaming. it next to me every day so it's like I'm not really deciding. I have I can decide to listen to someone something else, but it's not top of mind because I'm not hearing all the time because maybe that person doesn't have as much money for promo or as much access to like you know behind the scenes. I hear anything. you. So that's what I'm saying. I think I think you make a good point. Let's take it a little bit back, right? Okay. A lot of people don't realize that you did gospel for a while. Would I yeah. be right to say that? Oh, you, yeah, had a, yeah. you had a gospel smash. I don't think people knew you had I actually had a gospel scene. album. I know. Oh, okay. Produced by Sam Clef. Oh, completely. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that. Was it a conscious decision to transition into a more quote-unquote pop approach? I mean, I guess to a, to a, like, to a level. Yeah. Um, when, I, when I was doing gospel, I'm, I didn't know what it made me do gospel. Like, my, my mom was a church girl but me. I just, I mean, I could have done love songs, but I couldn't write love songs at the time. They just weren't coming. I was trying. I remember I would try, it just wasn't working. I could only write gospel songs. I was like, okay. So maybe that's where I'm supposed to be at. And so um, I did that, you know, but I kept trying, you know, and the more songs I was able to write, the more songs I was willing to sing. So that's what the transition was for me. I remember when I, when I did transition, a lot of people were um, asking, um, a lot of people were saying that, Oh, is it something money? I said, it's because of money. I'm not having started in gospel in the first place because nobody made me do this. Not now, though. I'm, like, I, don't have, I don't like to have conversations about gospel industry, gospel Fair music enough. industry, because I feel like, you know, they have, it can get a little political. Now, yeah. Yeah, so I just avoid it. I just avoid it. My relationship with God is not about, like, gospel music, so. Are you still Christian? Very much so. Were you a church girl? 
What does that mean to you? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> it depends. But for me, I will not go the uh, extreme angle of people t- trying to limit it to SU. But did you go to church on Sunday? Yeah, of course. Were you, were you active in church? Did you go to midweek service? All of that. Um, did, were you yeah. known when for When I was younger, church? I did go to all those things. But I think it was mostly because my mom was... I had to, my mom is the papa church... Church woman. Church lady. So, mm-hmm. yes, I did go to all those things. Um... But I think that I had like a relationship with God, personal relationship with God pretty early because I was a very self-aware child. So there were things I was aware of. So it wasn't about church, going to church only. It was just also having conversations, you know, and I say, oh, I'm Jesus' baby. I'm like, oh, I'm his, I'm his fave, it's a C. Yeah. <laughs> Do you th- still think you're his fave? Yeah. But I think that he can have many faves. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. think all of us are his faves, actually. Are I don't you know about fave? that. Yeah. <laughs> why did you do it? Yes, it it's is. a pause. Like, no, it's I, not sure. I needed to be sure of the angle of faith. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're about to go on a break. And thanks for rocking with us so far. Here with us is Simi. Conversations has, conversation has been sizzling so far. I'm not, mist- I'm not mistaken, right? So it's very good. Um, here too is Quincy. That was a Quincy. Quincy Jones. Um, this episode was too brought to you by Shivers Regal. And it's live on Pop Central Channel 189 on DSTV. Every conversation you miss while we're on break is going to be out on Monday on all streaming platforms. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts is now YouTube. So go and get on YouTube Music and get your podcast. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Everything you missed, a lot has gone on since you... Since we went on break, Quincy down the bottle of shivers. Um, <laughs> nice. is still here with us, answering some very interesting questions. Quincy just has a very, very good question. Everything you missed is out on all streaming platforms on Monday, YouTube, everywhere you get your podcast, including Boom Play and Not Joe Mark, by the way. Shout out to my people there. Um, this episode was still brought to you by Shivers Regal and Pop Central TV, Channel 1 is 9 on DSTV. Let's get back to the conversation. See, we're talking about sound, right? After you released Did You Care, or when you released Did You Care, yeah. when Did You Care came out, I would, I think I would be, I would say Did You Care is the first TikTok hit in Nigeria. I, I think know. I would say that. I don't know. <laughs> I think I would say that. Do you know why I would say that? Because I did it. <laughs> I'm joking, but actually, no, fuck that. I did it. <laughs> we all did it. Do you understand? The reason why is because in the middle of lockdown, I was, I wanted right, to, man. TikTok was exploding in Nigeria. Wait, and I requested, what, was the, what was the files and, um, um, was it um Buff soldier, Daddy. No, Buff Daddy. No, not Soldier. Buff, Buff Daddy. Soldier. Buff Daddy. Buff Daddy. Okay, there was Buff, Buff Daddy. Daddy. There was Buff Daddy. There, there was, was no rush. Care. There was don't, no rush. I'm talking don't about you. No, Don't Rush was like the third or something. No, no, Don't, don't Rush was actually the first. No. At the start of Don't lockdown. Rush was the biggest. Okay, I hear you. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to the case, I'm talking about Nigeria. So, at the start of lockdown, I did, I, I, in the middle of lockdown, I requested something from TikTok at the time. Yeah. About, like, the biggest songs in Nigeria in terms of use, uh, in terms of, like, um, numbers from people in Nigeria. Nigeria. And Duduke came number one. By oh. far. Yeah. At That's the time. That's mad. I had right? no idea. Yeah, you don't know. No, it's me. I don't. Ch- I don't check charts. Yeah. Of anything. Enough. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Yeah. So how do you know when your record is blown? You did feel up. Just no. <laughs> 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 I just I don't like chasing things I can't control. Like mm. if I look at charts, I can't like do anything about it. Mm. So I can only promote as I'm already doing. Yeah. So I just I don't know. I don't know why. Do you think you? I think your music is, you said your music was niche. I think your music is, you occupy a very interesting space between the niche and the mainstream. It's a very, I agree. I agree. It's a very interesting interse- intersection. And going back to like sound, right? When Simi Sola came out, which in my opinion, is one of the greatest Nigerian albums of all time. Thank you. In my opinion. You, you know it. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> Let's not be humble. It's no, okay. it's not humility. Thank you. It's not humility. It's not like false modesty. That's it. 
No, so you're saying that people shouldn't say thank you. No, 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 no. The fact that you spelled it out, I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so the sound on Semisola was a lot more folksy, if I'm not mistaken, right? A lot more folksy. The, the, the energy had a lot of folk in it, things that were relatable, but this one has a lot more R&B ballad. Yeah, it has in, more in R&B, more, it has more pop. Sounds yeah, pop. Well. Now, my favorite song is Desire. But, ah, okay. yeah, that's my favorite song. Now, um, the, when Duduke came out, yeah, a lot of people were saying, I remember vividly, just before the, the explosion, the conversation was, this sound is, we need a change, right? Yeah. How did that affect you? Um, I mean, the sun blew up, so first of all, like... Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that's another reason why... Okay, there's something I've said before, I think on Twitter. My voice is very distinct. Yeah, it is. It's very distinct. I, I don't know anyone that sounds like me, right? I'm not talking about skill. I'm talking about, like, the uh, tone of my voice. voice yes, the tone of my voice. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know anybody that sounds like me. And... The, my songs usually you don't remember the beat you remember the voice you remember the song think about the it the vocals yes I you agree. don't really remember the beat you don't remember the intro of my song song in a certain way that's it's weird, the song that's true. if it's so, all vocals I don't remember it's the vocal <laughs> red every so time so my get, my voice do. is very distinct that's actually crazy and I and I and I huh. ex, and I experiment I actually experiment so much but because oh, my sorry. voice that's crazy <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Sorry to cut you short. No. It's like okay. now that I'm thinking about it, it's actually quite profound. Yeah. Yes, it's true. I don't think you don't think about production like with the biggest songs. When it comes to Simi, so Simi, it's music, the voice. Yeah. It's the voice. Sorry, please continue. Okay, so I, I'm explaining this to you because I know that a lot of people have like what you asked me. A lot of people have asked that, and I can't answer everybody one on one. Yeah. But because my voice is so distinct, even when I I'm doing different sounds. It sounds like sometimes you're hearing because the thing you hear the most when I sing is my voice, regardless of what I'm singing. When I first when I first um, put out music, I put out um, Tiff, and then I put out Jam I Question. Jam. There's this song called Open and Close. I don't know if you ever open heard it. Open and close you. Everybody heard it. I heard it. Yeah, open and close. Open and so close different. you. I, like, I, that song is a great song, but I don't think it was meant for my voice. But I don't think it was, I feel like song. somebody else would have. Yeah, I feel like somebody else it would have worked better for someone else's like voice. I don't know, someone with a with more um, personality. Like a, no, thicker voice. Thicker, probably. Yeah, like a I, man. No, it can be a girl, but like, not my voice is very light. That's what I'm trying to say. I hear you. Yeah, so like even on the same album, I had songs like One Kind. You mm -hmm. making me feel a mm -hmm. guy. That's more R and B. That's a great song. Yeah, thank you. I That's had, my jam. That's a great song. I had ballads. I had um, Original Baby, which had like some reggae yeah. ragga type yeah. sounds. I had, um, I'm trying to remember what else. Um, I had Smile For Me, which was very high life. I, I played with high, high life. life a lot. So, but the thing is, because my voice is so distinct. So, and it's, no matter what I do, that's why I'm like, oh, sounds or something. Although I do, I do, I've, ha I've had like, like, you know, a strong preference for high life in the past. I love high life. I just do. I just think it's so special and just, you know. But, like, no matter how many... My last album before this was called To Be Honest. Mm -hmm. I wish... I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever heard any of the songs everybody on it. Everybody had To Be Honest. I don't know if everybody... We are music I feel like singing. those that we album should... <laughs> but, like, that was, that was also, um, I would say, you know, different. But because my voice is so distinct, I think that, you know... And sometimes it just goes, it goes, it goes. And you might not feel like you're listening to the same genre or the same style of music. Do you want to take that? Do you want to respond to that? <laughs> so I, I totally understand. And um, personally, yeah. I think that you're saying it from a totally different angle. What I'm getting is that you see it as a problem that needs to be solved. No, 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 I'm answering his question. Yes, I know, but the energy I'm getting yeah. is that, oh, you know, my voice, my voice is... Uh, oh, no, 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 I was just responding to, I was just responding to him. And let me just say okay. that 
the voice is really it. And the problem is, the problem a lot of other artists face is they don't get heard over the beats. Yeah. Their vibe gets felt, but the because voices the don't stay. Is missing, right? So in your case, what we have is more of the voice, the content, and everything else. Yeah. Right? And then also the guitars. They're very oh, distinct. yeah. Yes. Shout out to Oscar. I like that. I like... Shout out to Oscar from Simisola album. And Oscar okay. produced a chunk of Simisola, right? He produced probably the whole thing. Yeah. Except for mm. one. Except for Oambe. Who produced Oambe? VTech. Oh! Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I think that was like the last song. Yeah, yeah, well, I wrote was. the album. I, I think it was the last. Oh, that you wrote on that the album. I wrote on the album. Oh, I'm being complete me. That's my favorite. Complete me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Jeremy, so. sorry, Jeremy. Oh, I'm being complete me. Those were the last songs you last wrote. Last three also songs. Also very guitar-led. Yes. Yeah. You remember my guitars though, because everybody does. Yeah. He goes with the voice. So, now. I, I don't want to entirely abandon that. But I want to say being a part of a certain generation of music. Yeah. Watching and experiencing it transform to where it is. I believe that from your point of your first hit record or your first popular music yeah. till now, there's probably been like 60 billion change in the music space yeah you know do you think oh sorry is it pressure for you as an artist one two over time do you think it would make you want to explore faster beats faster sounds and all of this all of these in general yeah are you going to start doing a piano by some fluke or not um, well, to answer your first question, yeah, I think, I mean, this, there has been pressure in the past. I don't feel that anymore right now, at least not at the moment. Um, then I've to explore, that's what I'm saying. I have explored. Have you explored on <laughs> my piano? I don't like, I'm not crazy about it. Sorry? I'm not crazy about it on my piano. As a genre? Or what Do you not like it? it? As okay, a as singer, an to okay. sing you yeah, as an artist, to I'm not, I'm not, I've never been drawn to. I actually I think make an your album. voice would grace a Kabza beat like a madness. Bro, yeah, I think, I think that I would probably so sound, easy. especially for just doing like all those sharp drop type things. You're not doing too much. You know why? You know why I'm saying your voice? Because I'm Ifaku, I'm Saki, very unique voices. Yeah. Right two women that the the moment you hear them you know who exactly they are right msaki sounds like the the lead singer for london grammar what's that babe's name i can't i can't remember you know london grammar i don't know anybody you know a lot of people you listen to a lot of music Simi. don't be ask me. anybody that came in the room with me for real that ask them if i know anybody well you listen to a lot of music so you i don't do listen not to i don't know music. anybody I don't know anybody. The reason I know my husband's song is because I'm married to him. But you, you used I, to be a I, Post Malone and J. Cole fan. Yeah, I listen. Well, I liked Post Malone's first album, the um, Beer Bong. Uh, Beer no, Bong. No, no, no. That's a. Uh, but like, I love J. Cole. That's, what changed? That's, I don't listen to anybody. There's nothing changed. Why? I don't listen. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know anybody. I really don't. How much music do you consume daily? I don't on listen. On an average. I don't really listen to No, anybody. including yours. Uh, in fact, the reason I'm listening to my album is just because it just came out. Another few weeks, I probably, I probably won't listen as much. Were well, you uh, listening to music? Sage mode. Were well, you listening to a lot of music before? No. I don't listen to any. <laughs> I don't. Yanu saved me. No, it's I don't. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not I don't okay. listen to. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because growing up, I didn't. That's what the way I listen to music is. If I find someone that I love, if I hear them. a song, I'll go find all their stuff. I'm like a project listener. I'll go and find all their stuff and I would like binge. Immerse. You know, yeah, I would just listen. And I would do that for like maybe a month or two and then I'll stop until I find someone I like again. The only person that has been consistent for me is J. Cole, probably. Who do you like now? J. Cole. <laughs> no, I like people, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I don't listen because I yeah, don't like yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not a big music. But who's listener. your recent discovery that you really like? 
I haven't discovered because discovered anybody recently like that. But there are a lot of people I like. What is the name for I like? Yeah. I love Lo J. I really I really like Irasta. That's Ira. I like um Does it have to be all Nigerian? No. no, no, no. Okay. Everywhere. Um this is this is um woman that I heard. She's called LP. I don't know like I don't even know where she's from, but it's called LP. A friend sent me one of her songs and I just I just, yeah, I just went down like a rabbit hole. I haven't listened to her in a while. I like um, recently. What do, you, what do you think about Gibeon? I like his voice. I don't know a lot of his music, but I really like his voice. His voice is powerful. Yeah, I, agree I know. Like the big like heartbreak anniversary was that him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like I don't know if a big song that they are playing everywhere. Of course I would you know, know, but I don't like go out of my way to listen. So I don't really. Just, I'm not trying not to listen. It just it's, it's just, just not, not happening. It has to, to come to across. Play. Yeah. Yes. So unless I hear something accidentally, even the radio, if I'm listening to the radio, it's because somebody else is in can they turn it on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like the same album I've been listening to, I'm a creature of habits, I guess. The same album I used to listen to. Loyalist. Uh, yes. So like Rihanna's album, Loud. I dri- like album. if I need to pick me up and I'm driving, that's what I would listen to. If I just want to feel like deep, I will go to Energy Cool's album. And I listen to my I listen to my stuff when I'm working on it, and when I put it out. But after a while, because I've heard it too much, I don't yeah, listen I, as many times. I listen to my husband. Jacob's well. stance are so annoying, though. I'm actually not annoying. I'm not one of the annoying fans, but I'm definitely a fan. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely a fan, and yes, yeah, so I'm just I try to listen. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna be better, but I'm I'm not. Maybe one weekend I'll just start, then the next day I've forgotten. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe it's trauma. I don't know. Trauma? <laughs> <laughs> because growing up, I didn't, like, I wasn't exposed to, like, a lot of music. My house, there was no, there was no musicians. Really? My dad used to have all these records, you know, but my dad used to work, um, used to work, like, and come on weekends. So it was like it was around the lower, it was just showing me music. My mom was not really a music person like that. You know, music for my family really started with me. So, I don't really have anything to... To hang on. Yeah, I didn't really have anyone to show me the roof. So, for me, I fell in love with music purely. Like, it was a passion for me. I just loved the idea of melodies and writing. I love writing stories and everything. So, I didn't really listen to... I, I got that on Restless. Restless is a concept project. I think I interviewed you during lockdown as well. Yeah, yeah. I think I did. Yeah. Um, Restless was... I think Simisola is just that album. Yeah. If it wasn't I mean, for Simisola, it has to be. It has to be. That was like Simisola my introduction. A... You know, I had to, I was giving it my everything. Did you now there's still finish. That's I feel I don't think that people can you can, I don't think anyone can replicate their first their first big thing. That's a that's a good idea. But that wasn't your first album though. My f- it was my first big album. It was my first yeah. mainstream. My first album was gospel. That's yeah. what I said. First, like, it yeah. was my first mainstream for everybody's yeah. album. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is me. And people are like, they've never experienced this before. So it feels yeah. different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's, that's just what it was. Like you have to evolve in the public. Yeah, and is exactly. Just now people have heard it. So they're like, okay, what else? Yeah. You know, and sometimes... If I look at the way everybody's carrying this guy now, Picasso, I'm going to be going. Picasso, I'll be making <laughs> Like the guy is gone now. Paddy so no Picasso. Pressure. All these artists now, Spencer. Oh, they blew after they died, right? Oh, okay. So there's no pressure to like do more, like because what do you think they would be painting now? Yeah. People have their style, and that's 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 another reason why I said we're catering to the same people, and they, and sometimes it's a lot of pressure on artists that I think is not fair. Do you think? Do you did you did you know Simisola was going to win album of the year? I didn't know. But did you want it to? Of course. Why wouldn't I want it? <sighs> Everybody wants to win. How many people have won album of the year at the head is women? How many women have won it? I think Simisola is the only I, one. I'm not certain. I don't know. I think Simisola is the only one. <laughs> I don't know. One. I think I think Simisola is the only one that has won album of the year for a woman. Did you know that? I don't know. <laughs> I told you I don't look at things like charts and who's who. Who's the, well, are you there when you win the awards? Yeah. No, he said, there. did I know that he is the only woman? Yeah. I don't know. How does that make you feel, though? That is the only woman. Yeah. I feel like more women should win more stuff. 
Yeah, I hear you on that. Yeah. Talking about your dad. Yeah. Right. How how does it feel? How, how old were you when you lost your dad? Twenty six. Oh, you were you were a woman by that point. But yeah. it still hurt, didn't it? Yeah, of course. How much how how has that influenced you as a person in terms of your personality, how you're raising your daughter and all of that? Mommy, my relationship with my dad, you know, was kinda complicated. Um my dad loved his kids, but like, you know, my parents were separated pretty when I was like pretty young, so I wasn't always around my dad. I'm a mommy's girl, so <laughs> um but like I said, I was a very self aware kid, so you know, I tried as much as possible to connect with him, you know, because, you know, it wasn't he it was not feeling very well before he passed, you know, mm. and I don't I wouldn't say it changed my personality or him made it influenced i don't i don't think he did but just i guess if anything i just um like i sang in a song charlie i just you know um kind of mourned all the things that you know could have been but like never happened you know um all the things that i hoped that i could experience my dad growing up and you know, getting married, him seeing my child, and just, you know, just, I don't know, having, like, maybe a better relationship as time went by, so, because, you know, you can't, you, okay, so, I'm, like, when I have, I have, I have a few friends that have lost their moms, and, you know, one of my friends said that the hardest thing about losing your mom is that nobody can love you like your mom, mm. right, so, um, I know that dads don't always get the same <laughs> sentiment, it's but like, same. but like, you still only get the one dad. So I can't even if I have people that have like that, like a father figure in my life. It's not the same. They're not my dad. So, yeah. I lost my dad like yeah. seven years ago as well, so I get the sentiment. Wow. I think it makes so much sense. Um, speaking of your child, your daughter, right? Yeah. Um, did you feel this is a question from Melody, not me. For who? From Melody. That's oh, okay. our, my female co host, but she's not around today. She Hi is. Melody. Melody. She the question was did you feel a need to to take a pause after you had or slow down in terms of career wise after you had your child? Yeah. Your daughter, Deja. I don't even think that I chose to slow down. I think life slowed me down. I don't think I had a choice. <laughs> I mean, especially given the kind of mom that I wanted to be, that I want to be. Um, what type of mom? Very hands-on. Okay. I'm very hands-on. So I think that, I, like, it's, just, it's like if there's traffic, you don't have a choice, your car has to stop. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how Bars I see it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how, that's how I see it. You know, I don't, it just had to happen because, like, like you have one more priority. It's probably the biggest priority in your life now. So you have to make room. You know, the way I see this picture that came in my head one time, it's like you have all this, like your life is like, you know, this big ball, right? And all your priorities are, they fit in that ball. And then when you have something new, you have to kind of squish all the other things in there to make room for Space. that new thing. And when you squish, it changes. What you're squishing is changing form, it's changing its nature. And then as it changes, you have to relearn how to be your full self, even though squished. So it's like, first of all, you have to. Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> so you have to like, as it's squishing, it's changing. So you have to kind of you're different, you know. And then now you have to learn it in its new form, so you can be full again, including that new thing. So that's the way that it comes in my head. So I don't regret it. Like you know, like it's changed. Like it's not as easy, but when you learn it, it becomes easier, because that's your life now. Was there, th was there a part of you, again, from her, was there a part of you that felt like you had to do it because you were a woman? Had to do what? Had to, because you had to be a hands-on parent. Was there a part of you that felt like you had mm. to do it because you were a woman? No. It was very instinctual for me. It was, it was definitely instinctual for me. I... Um, I don't, I don't know how to half-ass things. 
I don't do things just to tick a box. Mm. Like, I'm not going to date someone out of pity because I don't want him to feel bad. Shit. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to have a baby because, oh, it's time. I'm not going to, like, especially big things. I mean, small things, you can just, okay, just, you know, but, like, for big things, things you can't take back. I don't do them just to do them. I'm very intentional about things like that. So, um, obviously... As the woman, I'm the only one that can carry the baby. Mm. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, there's a special bond that moms have. With their child. With their kids. their children. You know, and um, I'm glad that, you know, I'm married to someone that is a partner with me where, you know, we're just always on the same page where someone is having to compromise this and compromise that. So it's no, there's no resentment or anything. But, like, I'm not making any choice on that duress, you know, so that's that's just so it's not about being a woman i mean obviously some things for a fact because i'm a woman i'm doing what i can do it but you know except men are breastfeeding now <laughs> i don't know if there's a new <laughs> research <laughs> there's a new research somewhere let me know <laughs> i saw a video some time ago where oh no let's not go into okay that. please i just please felt like don't. i knew that it was please gonna don't. end badly <laughs> I, I, it's going to end badly I you don't want to be in that film <laughs> Please. Yo, yo, no, let's not go into it. Let's, but talking <laughs> about compromise, I feel like I have something to learn personally. What does about com- what? About compromise. Okay. What does compromise look like in a healthy relationship? Oof. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I had to try. <coughs> oh, there's a definition of compromise that I can't remember what it was. But I was like, yeah. Like, both of, both of you feel like... When both of you feel like you're letting something go, and I still went in them. But sh- but you want to. Because what you're gaining it makes you happy or something. I don't know how to explain it's, it. Yeah. It's, it's done. Right? What you said. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> That's done. actually what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so but if only one person is comp I I have a take. One person can now make a relationship work. I don't care how many prayers you pray. I don't care how hard you're working. I don't care how, many, how much therapy you do. If one person is the only person invested in relationship working, it will never work. It can never work. Because it takes two. That's the point of a relationship. Or oh, three or four. I bet. What are we doing these days? Trouble. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, it definitely takes more than one person. It takes a village. It takes a village. And, and I feel like the only place that you... The only thing... Love... I don't know if I'm going to I'm going to DBA, <laughs> but love is I feel like love requires vulnerability, it requires compromise, it requires sacrifice, but it has to be you know like it has to be such <laughs> keep going. It has to be in a way where like I know I have to put certain parts of myself down to serve this relationship but mm. i don't want to be doing that by myself you know support, if i know that we both have stack like we have stakes in this thing you know like if i feel weak you know how people say oh sometimes someone is bringing 80 and someone is bringing 20 sometimes that's how it is sometimes what i have is 20 if i know that you're willing to meet me because you know tomorrow i'm gonna meet you where you are at and you know it for sure you're not just guessing you're not praying about it but you know this person has your back yeah, so I think that that's that's what relationships should be, and there should be great communication. If you don't have great communication, even if you love somebody, it's not work. What's mm. great communication? It's actually hearing someone. You know, like I'm telling you, this is how I feel about something. Like even if you're mad at me, but you're hearing me, you're actually settling down. Like you're hearing what I'm saying. You know, and my voice is important to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even if you disagree, you are meeting it with like love and compassion. You know what I'm saying? And we can find because no, you're not always going to be on the same page. You're going to disagree. Sometimes you can't stand that person, but I love you enough <laughs> to find my way back to the same page with you. Because that's sometimes people go apart. Sometimes you know you're just not there together. But like, if I love you enough to find my way back, I think that that's that is what communication. Good communication is. Are arguments healthy? Sometimes. I mean, if, if if you're not just arguing to hear your voice. <laughs> to hear your own Just voice. to hear your own voice. If you're actually arguing because you want it to work out, because you want to fix it. Yeah, I think they can be helpful. Yeah, I'm, I argue. I don't, like, I'm not trying How to often? fight. Huh? How often? No, I'm just, I'm just. What a shocker. I'm just an arguer. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just like argue. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, you know, I like debates, you know. Hey! No, but not no, but fights. It's, it's I don't like fights, to but I like debates. Back and forth. Yeah, like, I like, you say like point. healthy debates. Say your own. I'll say my own. I think that I'm stubborn, no. but, and I'll like, I'll like, if I believe something is right, I will argue that point. But the moment I know for a fact that I'm wrong, I'm, like I told you, I'm not I'll call you and say, bro, I fucked up. That's what I told you. I lie. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I have to know that I'm wrong. I have to know that I'm wrong. How long does it take you to know that you're wrong? I don't think that, I don't think that <laughs> there's one answer to that question. <laughs> no, I'm, no, 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 that's not what I mean. Like, there's, it's not as if all the arguments, they, are, they, have, they take the same time now. Yeah. Yeah, and I also understand that sometimes it's not that anyone is wrong. It's just that you don't, you're not on the same page about it. Like, you think differently, I think differently. I we're both right in our corners, and that's okay. Yeah. So it's not always that someone is wrong or someone is right. So it's just like, I don't agree. Oh, I think we should go to Mykonos. Well, I think I want to go to Spain. Well, okay. Rich people problems, <laughs> but okay. What'd you say? Rich people rich, problems, but okay. Rich nigga problems. Let me say, Mykonos and I want I'll just give you an example though. now. Yeah, yeah, it's your current reality. Or oh, then leave it, you know? Speaking, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, Onogaraya, I buy jama for my baby. Motoshi. What is jama? It's not messy. <laughs> You know what I like about this response? Simi said it like a Yoruba person. You don't mess this. Mess this. It's mess this With all now. the energy in it. Simi got a Benz. I mean, what can I say? Flex, my nigga. <laughs> Flex, my nigga. But speaking of this relationship thing, I feel like a lot of people want to hear about it still because I'm going to go back to another question when I'm, when I'm done with this, which is... Yeah. What your brand was, and it still is in a lot of people's eyes, right? Your relationship feels like it's built on friendship. Yeah. That's what it is. Were you guys friends first? Yes, we were. How many years? Oh, not many years. From like months. But the thing is, it's not like a friendship that ended though. So, um, but we were guys, <laughs> and you know. Did you beat him at FIFA? What did you say? Did you beat him at FIFA? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Mm. But we, we've drawn before. <laughs> He's, he plays really good. He hasn't played in a while too, so I don't know if he's still good, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> but he's good. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we were friends. We started out as friends. Um, um, But, like, he's just a good guy. I just like good people. He is a good guy. My taste is, like, just good men. You know, I mean, I mean, there's other stuff too. You have to be fine, <laughs> but he's a good, he's a good person. I like good people that are kind, like their hearts, like they're actually kind. Sure. You care, like they actually genuinely look out for you. Like, I don't, I feel safe, you know, with him. And I think that that's important. It's not just saying you love somebody and he's doing bish bish because you know sometimes butterflies go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of this episode. Sorry, Quincy. <laughs> Butterflies go to sleep. No, they do sometimes. That's, that's They're going to take saying. a break. Butterflies go to sleep. So what's happening I'm when the butterflies... I was thinking more bish bish, but okay. Nah, fuck that. Cool. When, <laughs> when butterflies... When they go to sleep, you know, what? like what's carrying you? Because, I mean, they sleep, they wake up, they take breaks. But like what's carrying you? And I think that it's important to be with someone that is good to you, that likes you. I think that it's important to be with someone that likes you, that actually genuinely likes you, that likes talking to you, that likes like your sense of humor, that likes hanging out with you, you know, that is that will choose you. You know what I'm saying? I Regardless. Think that, I'm sorry? Regardless. Yeah, especially long term. Yeah, because life, life gets hard sometimes, you know. Life, sometimes you just, things happen. You go, you're going to go through, you're going to have different like dips and picks right you know you're gonna have a kid it's gonna change the dynamic of your relationship etc so you have to have someone that's willing to fight to maintain to ma fight for like your relationship to be healthy so i was gonna sorry i was gonna talk why are you telling sorry i was gonna touch on that that's such a nigerian right? thing 
It's <laughs> a habit. Yeah. But I was going to touch on um, the concept of both of you being creatives and also being artists. Yeah. Right? And one thing about artists, even speaking to body awards, their personalities created and all of these things. You're morphing into different people, right? You're shifting phases, making yeah. different types of music. It affects your personality as people, right? How were you guys uh, managing all of these things? How easy was it for you as a person? Like you mean managing our lives as yeah. a couple and as as, and as, as individuals? Um... I think you just have to be as intentional as possible. I think it helped again that that's not how we met. You met as regular, regular decades. I mean, okay, I was already doing gospel music and he knew my music. Actually, that's how he reached out to me first. It's like, oh, I'm, I like your Facebook. music. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, a rock star girl. I was like, okay, <laughs> simmer down, sir. How old are But um, when we actually, you know, started dating, that's not, our relationship was not about that. It wasn't, and we are not blown. Yeah. So there was no nobody's trying to impress. How many years have you guys been together for? Ten now. Shit. Yeah. So we hadn't blown at the time, but um, like our relationship was about us. It was not about what we were doing. It was about us, and I think that that, that definitely helped, you know, as a foundation for us. Now we have a great working relationship. And we're very good, we're very great with boundaries as well. You mm. know, like we help each other out. Like the things I'm like, oh, babe, can you help me with this song? What do you think? And, you know, he'll reach out to me. I would ask me, oh, oh, what do you think I should do in this verse? You know, but like, you're not going to force anything down anyone's throat. You know what I'm saying? So, you, like, we respect boundaries. We, like, work is work. And family is family. We don't, it does not, there's no clash. Did you guys have to, did you guys have to learn it? I don't think so. I think it happened like it happened very naturally. That's why I said I think that we just somehow we just always find our way like find our way to the same page about things. You know, it's like it just it just came very very naturally. Like you know, we like we were never signed to the same record label. No, we're not like I don't see him as competition. He's my partner. You know, I'm always rooting for him when he's putting stuff out. He does the same thing for me. You know, and then we're waiting for our safe, personal safe alone too. Yeah, you when know, you finish been... your interview, you come home. <laughs> you you cash, cash me aside, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, and there's no insecurities there. I guess again, because we both understand what the industry requires. So I guess that also helps, you know, so. Um, With insecurities, let me say this. Yeah. There was a brand shift for your husband. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he became one of the most desirable men amongst females yeah. at that point. Till date. Till now. I'm not even going to tell you. And he gave him the name that's right on that bad boy text. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. But very desirable. Yep. Yeah. How do you him. feel as wife? Not as Simi. Girlfriend. As no. Not as Simi. That point was not already as Simi wife. the artist. Not as Simi the artist. No, okay, Simi the artist is all cake. As wife. About him being desirable. Yeah. Be honest. I don't know. Why should I feel something? I don't... Well, you didn't feel anything. Do, should I not See, want they, him They to... make noise. I want him. All They're of not socials. talking to me. That's... Oh, he's so cute. They don't oh, got nothing to do with me. He's the love of my life. He's my wallpaper. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to that. Listen to that. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said that don't have nothing to do with me. Why? How is him being desirable? What's, like, how does that... It's your husband. So, I should... So, okay... All of a sudden, the chart went up in the market. The, his charts went up in the Yesterday's market. Yesterday's price <laughs> is he tripled. No, I'm like, I'm I'm so proud of him. Like, whatever attention he's getting now is because of the work he's put in. Come on, man. No, but for real, though. And I'm not saying that as a no, PR. No, no, I mean that. He's applauding. I know. I mean, and I, I'm I know. I'm just it. saying, like, for real. Like, everything that he's done till date, like, I, I admire him so much because he's, He's such a hustler. It's kind of person that he keeps is. chasing and keeps. Even if two hundred people tell him no, if he sees it, then he he's gonna chase it. That's the way he is. He is. I have one question. Yeah. Are you behind the low cut? No. Don't lie. <laughs> you know what? No. Huh? When I but I like the low cut. I'm going to drag it all down. Why? No, don't worry now. Low cut, bro. 
You don't like the look? It's okay. I love it. Is what? No. No, I love it. Funny thing is that whatever era he's oh, in, one, is trace. my favorite era. Is your whatever era he's in is my favorite era. Oh, I love it. I think that so it's cute. really sexy and you know makes him desirable to me. Yeah, yeah I'm looking at her eyes. <laughs> you know, she's thinking about her husband. I'm not even lying. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't think she's worried. No, I'm she's not. not. She's not. Nah. I, I, I see, bro. I'm looking. I don't. I'm looking see, at the eyes. If you are streaming like, this pod, no... look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. You there's will tell no... that there's no worry, there's no, no bother. She if you just... like, do what you do. do on what snap. You can... He's fine. You can tweet. He's fine. But you go do okay. You know who's in the? Shall I, shall I bust yeah. your head? I'm sorry. I'm gonna act like you're not here. You know who's in the oh. bust my head, oh. right? Almost every video I see, even like hanging out with friends yeah. and all of these people, he's not even bothered about. Uh, bad bees around. He no send. He's not that he guy. He just the happy. He's, he's not the guy. It's like he's just happy. He's not that guy. You know. Okay, he's this is guy. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. No, As I'm I said, I, I said I was going to act like you. I'm sorry. He's not that guy. Now, he's um, I want to shift the whole conversation. This is very important to me. So there's been a lot of clamor about oh, women supporting women and a lot of all of these things. Yeah. Right. But when it comes to music and development of women and other artists and putting them out and supporting other artists and all of that, yeah, it seems to be missing. Right. Someone says, oh, there's been this person, that person, there's Simi, there's... Th no, no, no. I would even... There's Tiwa Savage, there's Simi, there's Yemi Aladi, there's all of these people. And then he says... Keep going. All who of which are people? these... Keep the, going. No, I'm actually for real. Top four in here now. No. Say everybody <laughs> you know. Say all the female artists you know. Don't tell me top four. No, these are the top four. Tell me all the female artists no, you know. No, but there's an actual top four. I know, but tell me all the female artists that you know. Mention I them. know quite a lot. I, mm -mm. All the female okay. artists, not see top me, four, okay. but like popular no female artists. See what's you know. Okay, why? See me, see what's savage. I'm going, see I'm me, going somewhere. Thames, okay, Ira no, no, it's Star, fine. Ira Star, Fave, Fave, King Maddy. King Maddy. King Maddy is still fresh. Who? Cold AF, you should check out. She's very good. I'm saying okay. popular. I'm so I don't mean oh, anything popular. by that okay, yet, like but like they're already popular. like out That's there mainstream. Um, She's about King to Maddie. point out that. Okay, never mind. But yeah, bloody smart, bloody civilian. Yeah, bloody. Bloody civilian. Yeah, yeah, yeah but she's, she's not on this list. No offense. She's. I'm not saying. I, I said not great. top four. She's on the list I'm talking about. Yemi yeah, Alade. Okay, yeah. I mentioned Yemi Alade already. Okay. Okay. How many is that? That's about six. It's about nine. Nine. We don't enter nine. Okay, keep going. You're saying something. Keep I know where she's going. going I don't reach nine. You, I see as well. No, no, as in keep going with the point you were making. Okay, so I'm saying this to say the point from that conversation was a lot of you guys at top four, I reiterate. Oh, there's aren't Asha. Queen. Asha. Ah. God. She's in the league of our own. It's fine. No, 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 no. He's offended. He's offended. I'm, I'm very sorry. I love her. Okay. I don't disrespect, right? Same way I won't disrespect if you're here or not. Yeah, yeah. It's just honesty, right? All of you guys, and the conversation is, you people aren't pushing out fresh new female artists like the men are. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Um, I hope you receive it. Let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, take. Knock me. So, Sorry. Um, no, no, no. I don't. Hey, I know what go. you mean. I know what you mean. Hey. Yes, please. So, majority of the men that are pushing um, male artists, new yes. male artists out, yes. you know that they have certain placements and they have certain, they have access to resources and they have powers in the industry that women do not have. So, what you call the top four women? Tell me the top four men. Let me say, very let me not say top four very men. Debatable. Someone See, made that, a comment that, about that reason. Hold on. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. But being debatable is already, that's like, that already kind of like Competition. There's a number. Points. There's so many. Yeah. Mm. There's too many. And then the people that have the most power, that have the access to all these things, that have, that people pay the most attention to are the guys. You're saying top four, but if you're calling top ten artists, 
Oh, let me say top 10 artists. Top 4 artists in Nigeria. Don't separate us. Men and women. Are women in top 4? No. I, think there's one woman I mean, well, four. now, yes. No. Now, yeah, yes. Now, yes. Now, yes. Top and 4 artists in Nigeria. In no. Nigeria. Top 5. No. I think there's a woman in there. Top no. 4 now. Top, top woman. 5. There's no it. woman. Sir, let's not tell lies. Okay. Excuse me. That's fine. I can take that because that makes no, my I'm point. No, I'm not even trying to insult it's, it's, the women. It's a large no, no, no. I'm saying... It's I'm a large saying, large with what yes. But that's my point. I'm, yes. So, you people are asking why, us why do to do so? things. Why do I think so? Because <laughs> they're not giving women... What? They're not giving... What do you mean, what? I'm trying to listen to you. Tell me one woman that you know that has like the kind of... Like that has the kind of... Cachet. Influence that Olamide has. Influence. Yeah. No, we're not going to judge almost fifteen to twenty years of hard work and call it. How long do you influence. think that? How, what do you mean call it influence? To say no, Tiwa this is where I'm going. Came out at, at the same time. Yes. What do you mean? Two and Olamide they came out at the same time. No, yeah. that's not. That's they not did. a fact. They that's what not do fact. you mean? That's not a fact. They did. Enijuro was not Tiwa Savage. Can we Google Tiwa it? Tiwa Kele Kele love the same year. Can we, as can we Google it? Okay. That's I, a fact. I would check that, please. Producers, check for me. That is a fact. For me, right? But Kale I Kale love. Think, what year did Kelly Kelly love? 2010. And all I'm My money is on that shit. 2010. It came out in 2010. Please check for me. Not for them. But I'm saying this to say that I'm not comparing Tiwa Savage and Olamide. No, I didn't say you were comparing. No, I'm, but, I'm saying that you can only do things with what you have. Do you, do you think, think that are you, Tiwa, you just do you want people to just you want do you want female female artists to just go and sign another female artist so that they'll say that this would have signed a female artist? If you don't have if you don't have that kind of influence to make those things happen, and the resources. you're just tying people down and you're being wicked, honestly. So how do the men get these resources? Well, you tell me, because I would like to get the resources too. Shit. I would like to get the resources too. You do double the work, you get half the results. When you see lineups, you guys are going to shows. You see lineup of 10 artists. There's one female artist and all the other people are guys. You're asking me how? That's what I want to know. No, but there was there was a period where there was Cardi B and there was Nicki Minaj. And are the, you kidding? And then this these is, I'm guys talking about are Nigeria. Of these things. I'm talking about no, Nigeria. I'm so, I'm, it's not the same at all. We don't have the same. We don't have the same mouth. So if you are talking about that, we don't have like now for so our blood now. Are you indirectly now, saying that women and um, female artists are being suppressed? Is that what it is? I'm not indirectly saying it. Female artists are being suppressed then. We're just we don't have the same opportunities. Like female artists are like basically when they're hustling, they're hustling to keep their own heads above water to survive in the industry you're asking us to go and take on more than we can chew and tie somebody else down so that they can say that you are being mean to an artist i mean i'm i see i'm of the opinion that people should not sign somebody just so that they say oh ah, it's my time to sign because that's somebody's life that's a contract by the time you sign them and you don't have because it takes funds do you know how much it takes to shoot a video today oh yeah i do how much it takes for studio sessions today? Oh, yes, I do. For producers? Yes, I do. If you don't have that kind of access for outside of yourself, why are you signing someone? Mm -hmm. How many, if you count all the male, and the reason why I say you should count how many male, female artists you know, count all the male artists you know, how many of them have signed someone? So if you're taking the ratio of the Quite guys to the girls, I'm sorry, Quite please tell me all the ones that you know that have signed someone. That's a lot of women. Oh, come on, artists. man. Huh? That's come a lot on. of women. Each of these people. No, I said men. I'm not saying women. Each oh, of men. these a lot. men. Please tell me. I'm not arguing. I'm, no, no. I'm not disagreeing. You are I'm making saying, a tell point. Me. Some of these men have even signed female artists as well. Yeah, but you are making I a point. I said, who are the people that have signed the artists? All the male artists you know that are signing people. Tell most me their names. Most of them have signed females. Most, mo not really. But most no. of them. Davido, the, there them. was Leah. There was, um, there no, I didn't, say, Alamide, I didn't say there was... that signed female artists. That signed that's many artists. artists. No, it doesn't have to be female. Quite a number. I know. Tell me who they are. David has like five on his rap sheet. Keep going. Olamide has like seven. Okay. Or seven to ten career time. Me. Yeah, I'm facts. saying, tell me the name of the, like, tell me the people you know All that the have signed artists. The, the, this the conversation ones. then the gets ones. very No, the big ones. Extensive. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make the point. I'm trying to make my point. It's the, you are making a point. Yeah, I'm trying to make my point. And the point is... The say, if we have three, let's say we have three female artists now, and we have... The ratio The ratio, there's no way. If you have three big female artists and you have, say, 15, 
big male artist. You're you're not paying attention to me. Okay, what are you because saying? double down, right? Okay. Question is, why are they not signing female artists? Why is who not signing female artists? So the people can, that can are I, hold on. Okay. The people that are signing. Yeah. That are not signing female artists. Why are they not signing female artists? Can I jump in? That's, I jump I in, I don't please. Know. Feel free. Simi, can I, can How I am I supposed in? to know? Simi, can I jump in with you? Were, were you not signed at some point? Did you recoup? Did you make hit records? Yes, you did. Can, I, I, make, can I have a... Can I have well, a sorry. Point? I was one of Simi. the exceptions. You can't use me as an example. Exactly. How so? It just is what She's it is. Ex- I was just... I was one of no, the No, you are an exception. Yes, guys, I agree. Guys. But... Guys, cheer. <laughs> It's getting very heated. <laughs> I should No, know. no. Um, I, okay. Why are they not signing female artists? Tolani. Calm down. I'm asking you. Calm down. Signing a male artist and a female artist has never been the same. It has never been the same thing. Why? For a lot of reasons. It's more expensive to maintain a female artist. It's more expensive they to say. roll out a female artist. Maybe not maintain to roll to roll a female artist out. It's, it's more expensive, and I'm not just talking about financial expenses. Okay, there is just a lot more that it requires. There's a lot more thoughtfulness. I wrote an article about this while I was at Pulse about four years ago. About I interviewed a lot of people that wanted to speak on it, and the thoughts was very almost uniform across board, right? And a lot of people were like. It involves a lot of things and a lot of times you need people that can handle it. And minus that, Nigeria as a country, like look at when Tiwas Tiwas have it blew up with Kele Kele Love. Nigeria is is a country steeped in quote and unquote morality. I, I say quote and unquote because the reality is that you make like look at a 16 year old boy and a 16 year old girl let's take it that case for example a 16 year old boy has a girlfriend his mom and his parents are proud of it maybe not proud of it but they are not passing an eyelid exactly but a girl has a boyfriend a 16 year old girl now everybody wants to turn their nose up i'm not saying it's wrong i'm just telling you the reality now what i'm saying in essence now is that the reality then becomes that a you are trying to break a female artist first things first the mentality of the person that's trying to break a female artist is might not be the same that's what's required now a lot of people don't even understand you are trying to break a female artist as like a male artist a lot of people have that problem now there's the perspective of um the female artist that are trying to have a conversation about needing specific things that maybe the men might not need so a lot of people don't want to go through the emotional labor of doing what it requires and understanding what it requires does that make sense so there are differences that are required there are peculiarities to both people and then the audience itself what the audience could what the audience understands in what if what a pop star requires look at simi for example Simi does a bikini photo. Everybody has an opinion about that. If a man goes shirtless on a video, nobody gives a shit. No, does that because the bikini conversation, oh, daft. I know. No, but I'm, but, yeah. but, but you and I, you and I are not the we are not the barometer. The barometer is the audience. Does that make sense? No, barometers are not willing to convert the other guys. Let's move on from this. That's why. But separate convo. Let's move. Simi, on I, I. I love you from the depths of my heart, right? Your music, your person, as far as I've known you and the little that I know of you as a person, I think you are absolutely amazing. Thank you. Right? But I also think that in the same vein, as a leading female artist, you should consider the possibility of you and um, Tiwa Savage yeah just made a record right recently mm-hmm. both of you have been running this game for a long time there's yemi alade there as well yemi alade has signed artists Who? say that again yemi alade has signed artists has what the label has signed artists brainy yemi alade yeah Mm-mm. did yemi alade sign an artist or did Efizi Records 
Is that what they called? <sighs> Sign an artist. That's not even the convo. I can't Me and you will have that after the show. But I think that female artists can sign and co-sign female artists. And honestly speaking, personally, I think you're one of the top one of few, the very few. Like the highest few in life. My few being three people, by the way, I no go mention just you, then two other. <laughs> right? That can do it. And I think you should play with that thought. You know? I don't want us to. It's a very sensitive conversation. Yeah, I do. I think so, too. Why it's is it sensitive? sensitive? It's, it's sensitive, sensitive because it's not as... I think you're trying to oversimplify it. That's yeah, the that's problem. Over I, I, get, I get where you're coming from. I think from. you're oversimplifying it because, like, for you, it's an idea. For me, it's a lived experience. Mm. Right? No, no, no. I'm, no I heard yes, you out. Yes, yes. For me, yes. it's a lived experience. And I, I've seen people get signed and just, like... My people that love music and that have a passion for it, but don't have like the resources or don't have like the 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 heart for it. Yes, or not like the stamina for it. Like because you know sometimes it you requires put a, something different. Yeah, you put an artist out, you drop a song, maybe it doesn't pop. You have to drop another one, maybe it doesn't pop. And then the artist has their own. But you sign, yeah, you sign them. You have signed them. It's a contract. You're supposed to keep going. Yep. And I feel like anyone that doesn't have that grit, whether you're a girl or a boy, or a man or a woman, if you don't feel. have that grit, leave people alone. That's my take. That's how I feel. And I think that people say this to women because you, I don't know. Sometimes when they say something female, it's like because we are female, you ask us things specifically, you know. This, if anything, you should ask every artist that has never signed anybody. Why have you not signed anybody? Because we're female does not mean that we have special powers to sign. I think... You should sign people if you have the grit to take on somebody's career and take it till the, the end. next level. Or if you leave can't people do it, alone. There's no point. I don't think signing is about somebody being a female artist and doing it because you know they have the. I think it's do because you're yeah, actually literally taking somebody's life yes. in, in your, your hands. hands. I agree. And they're signing it to you, and you make those choices, and you have to put those funds down, and you have to be there when they're sad. You have to be there when it's not working. Mm -hmm. You have to be there through all of it. If you don't have the grit for it, if you don't have the passion, whether you, whatever gender you are, then leave Keep people alone. Away. And I think women stand out more because we're fewer. So, you, like, if you don't do something, they notice you more. If you're not, uh, you're not featured, they notice you more. Because you're a female. With me, me, female, female. One, of Nigeria's, one of Nigeria's biggest artists has not broken an artist, by the way. Say again. One of Nigeria's biggest male artists. Please, has not, don't have this artist. conversation where I'm No, no, no. The, po the point <laughs> is, so you can't, you can't. Focus yeah, it you're singing on us the out artists. because we're females. Like, yeah. okay, all artists. Why are all artists not signing? I don't think because you're an artist, you have to sign artists. That's yeah. where I'm going. Yeah. And the fact that we're female doesn't make us special. Yeah. We're still just artists at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So if you have the resources, even people that have the resources, if they don't have the passion, leave people alone. Let people go and miss who is really willing. Because I really have, and thing is, I've, I was signed, like I told you, I said I was the exception as a female. There are many females, like female artists that were signed to other record labels in the same time I was. In your same label? Yeah, and I know how much they have struggled or how hard it's been for them because of all the things you said. The kind of thing, I've had people say, the audience somebody itself. tell me. Yeah, I've seen people say, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you, if you, are, if you are do glam, they say you have too much money. If you don't do glam, they if say you, you are not sexy. Much, I got, when I got signed, my boss at the time was told not to sign me because I'm not doing sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. Fox. So, like, if he, if he had listened, that's him already counting me out. So, people are thinking all these things. Oh, female artists, they are so problematic. You don't even give them a chance to be all the things that they can be. Look at Ira Star. Look at all the things she's doing. You are reducing a woman to how much money her makeup is going to cost or how much her skits is going to cost. Meanwhile, she's just a fucking artist like the next guy. So if you're already putting all these things on the table about us, we're we are, we are just we are here literally fighting for our lives, right? And the way you're fighting for your life, somebody now comes and asks, they're asking special things of you just because you're a woman. Even though because you're a woman, you're already not getting certain opportunities. You're already being counted out most of the time. Do you know how many people say things to me like now, nah, oh, um, okay, fine. I, I, I got married. I had a baby. 
the kind of things people say to oh, me. Very mean shit. Yeah, the kind of things people say to me just because I am the woman in the relationship or um, they have said, you know, say to I've me, what about your them. husband? I've seen some of them. I'm like, I'm not here. My competition is not my husband. I'm an artist by myself. I'm not here trying to this thing. But the things I get, that's why I said it's a lived experience for me. It's easy to sit down and have these conversations. Someone just go on Twitter, why is it that women are not supporting them? And I'm like, shut the fuck up because you don't know. These are things that, like, we actually wake up to every day. You, I remember when I was pregnant. I hadn't even announced that I was pregnant yet. And somebody called my manager and said, oh, we have a show in Abuja. And my manager said, well, this is her price. And then he goes, oh, no, I, we can't pay that. Is she not pregnant? Hey! I'm not, like, if it didn't happen to me, now, I you say maybe I'm lying. Are we Vincent? <laughs> Vincent. Is it true or not, Vincent? Is yeah, it yeah. true oh, or not? Something. No, I said they called that. Someone called for a show in Abuja when I was pregnant. And when you give them prize, they said, oh, is she not pregnant? Yes. And that shit happens all the time. If it's not that, it's something else. That's the truth. That is the life. So you're there basically trying to fight for your own life. I'm not going to carry just to say, oh, so that somebody can say, female artist are signed. I'll not take somebody's bukata to add it to my own. And by the time I add it, I'm not giving them everything that they, that deserve. they deserve. And then I become like a witch. I don't think it's fair. Leave and then you sign the contract that you put money down. Yes. I've signed the contract. I put money down. By the time they, so they say they want to leave, I say no. Like, like I've put, after I have it, I've put it to your career. And, and now they go on social media and go crazy. Yeah. So it's not, that's why I say, I think you are oversimplifying it. It's not that simple. This is actually people, like, Tiwa is amazing. She's like, 100%. she's been top of her game. From the oh, beginning yes. of her career. Do you know how much yeah. work that takes? 100%. How Consistency. she bounced back after having her son as well. Yeah. With all the scrutiny she's faced yep. in social media. Yeah. How many times? And every time somebody comes out, and another thing that they do with female artists, the moment a new artist come, comes compare, out, yeah. they compare with the one that like, popped mm -hmm. last. The one mm -hmm. that comes out. So it's like, even if you want to get along, they don't want us to get along. They find a way. Me, I, I'm the kind of person that I love out loud. I like to compliment people. I'm going to go, oh, I love this person. But you put something, somebody else comes and says, oh, fake love. I don't need that energy. So sometimes now I love quietly. That's what I say sometimes. They don't really want you to fuck with each other. They put, somebody pop now, hey, they will not do four windows. <laughs> with your like or retweet. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I'm serious. They'll put, they say, who is your favorite? Which female artist are you can't sing? Who do you want to put? Like, but you know how many guys are thriving in this industry? But they do that to the men, though. They do Not that as come on. Do you think I, they do it as much? I was. You I think was, they do it as much? I was holding myself from saying that. You think they do so it as much to like men? So, it's, it's so, like, as this guy, who is the person that blew last now? Let's, I'm trying to. Charlie Poppy. Let's say Charlie Poppy. So, who do they compare with in the industry? And the, say, who, is, the, who do you prefer? So, fan, so, it's a stand culture thing, which I've critiqued a lot. Right? Yeah, and stands just a lot of times they create conversation for us, but a lot of times those things can be very toxic and they even feed into beef of artists that have beef. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense, right? So I think it does exist. No, but, I understand about like yeah. two like, like just thriving artists putting them. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, what I'm saying, saying two artists, like say for example, like okay, I don't want to say names, but like something they have two popping artists or three, and they start saying, Oh, they are comparing them, but they're all popping. I'm talking about when somebody new breaks and they say, Oh, this person is no longer who are you going to that's what I'm talking about. It's like when they new they don't they don't it's like they don't they really don't, give they don't us understand space. It. They don't give us space to support new people because it's almost like they start, they want so you to hot be against. at all times. Yeah, and it's it's very toxic. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Like somebody you're not trying to because I feel like there's space for everybody. Look but, at But you do know that some of the people that start those conversations are teams of those artists, right? Uh, well, I guess that's not a conversation. Everybody's gonna be okay then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sorry, I know that, like, people, people, I see, I know what you're saying, I know yeah. it happens as well. I'm just saying, I'm not, this is me, I've complained about this, but my point is, the reason why I'm sounding so passionate about it, I'm just saying, this is something that, it happens every day. I'm not saying you can't sign, like, tomorrow night, if I wake up, and I have, like, an intense desire to sign someone, I feel like, oh, this is what I'm going to do, I have this dream, this is what I'm going to do with them, I have this idea, then, yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to do it just because I'm a woman, to prove a point. Mm. I think that that's careless and unfair to the artist. Especially if you know that you can't do it. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't have, because it takes a lot to sign an artist. Especially like you said, the industry is saturated. Mm. Do you know how many talents are out there now? So you not take someone on, and then you not see small challenge. You not say, oh, I want me to show. You know, <laughs> you now step back, and I just, I don't know. I guess everybody can have a different take. That's just my take. So how does it feel to, um, 
to I think you moved out of the country your fa- with your family. Am I not here? Am I not here with you now? You're ubiquitous. I go back and forth. We go back yeah. and forth. Yeah, but um, how was that decision for you? Was it was it tough? To to move. No, I mean things like things change. Um, you add on things to your life. You remove some things. So you just see what fits your family as it grows, I guess. So um, as long as I'm well going in the right in the same direction, I think like. What are some of the metrics that you put in place to help the family, especially with Deja in the picture? With yeah. you guys are recording artists that tour sometimes yeah. a lot, right? What are the things that you put in place to help offset the pressure of some of those things? How do you mean? Like, um, so I know some people that maybe when they're moving, they're carrying their siblings along or maybe their parents oh, okay. or all of those things. What oh, my f- mom, my mom, my mom is usually very, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not big on nanny. Don't trust them. It's not that, I just, because I didn't start out that way, so... I hear you. So my mom. <laughs> fucking man. No, 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 no. That's I don't not, trust them. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't trust them. That's I know. not what I'm saying. Let me talk about But my mom has like, no, like some nannies have been amazing. I know people I that you. have had great nannies. So that's not, I'm just saying me personally. I'm not really going had with the, nannies. Yeah. 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 Um, but my mom has been so amazing. You know, usually when we travel, like I go with, I go with my mom. You know, um, so if I have to, I know that my, my baby's safe and she's cool. She's taken care of. Genuinely. Yeah. Bro, I've seen very See me. messed up videos. <laughs> Lost and Found. Yeah. What's your favorite song? Oof. Lost and Found. Ooh, really? Not yeah. Messiah? No. <laughs> Y'all niggas are eight. Actually, I didn't even think I had a favorite song until I was just thinking two days ago. I was like, you know what, this because that's the spirit of the album. So yeah. Lost and found. You wrote it on Messiah. Was it do you write sometimes with movies or like abstract ideas in mind or a real life do real life situations? Which is another question I have about rest of yeah. uh, Do real life situations inspire some of those songs? Yeah, some. Some are real life inspired. Sometimes I just hear an idea and I can just see myself fleshing it out and just building a story around it, you know, like um, I think that for Messiah I was just thinking about I must have, maybe maybe somebody said something about like, can't save you or something, I was like, oh, this is a great idea, so like, I'm a storyteller, I love to pull things, like take one idea and just pull it apart so like people can just see all the parts inside it, so um, yeah, that's, that's usually how writing works for me. Are there limitations to some of the things that you want to write about now? Like knowing that maybe you're married, your mother. Yeah. Um, do you do you think about writing about a breakup, for example, or a toxic relationship, oh, for example? I, yeah, I write I write a lot of sad songs. Yeah, yeah. Last year I put out a song called Stranger. I know. <laughs> so that's that's a that's a sad song. Like that's the thing. Lots of my songs are just also I'm writing for other people. It's not always just for me. Like mm. the stories are like Things I feel like people might be able to connect to. Yeah. Yeah. So. Do you have anything specifically you want to talk about? Because they're they putting up labels and shit. Okay. So as my producer CJ, fuck that nigga. <laughs> Lost and found. Stream my album. It just came out. It's beautiful. It's the kind of album that you actually have to sit down and absorb. It's not just vibes. Like you can get to feel something, so um, you can drive to it, you can dance to it, you can sing to it, you can exist to it, and do everything to it. So lost and found, stream, share, tell somebody about it. Um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Simi in the building. Please give me a round of applause. Thank you for pulling up, Simi. Thank you for and having me. And giving us an interesting conversation. Thank you. I have fun. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And the last part, shout out to Quincy and Simi. Quincy. I'm a Yermi. It was brought to you by Shiva's. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Is this the alcohol? What's up? No, 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 no that's me. It's not true. It's a thing. Um... 
So, this episode was brought to you by Shivers Rigo. Buy a bottle of XV today, even though Simi didn't drink with us. Mm. Um, yeah. And Pop Central TV, Channel 189 on DSTV. Everything you missed during the break will be out on all streaming platforms on Monday before 9 a.m. Ah! Your band image, oh, Chad, man. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, nigga. And the conversation. <laughs> Continues next week. Shout out to CJ that tried to stop this conversation when it was getting good. He's a hater. Shout out to I agree. <laughs> you don't like him, do you? No, I do. Oh fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to X STXO. Shout out to my nigga Vincent. Shout out to the conversation. Thank you very much, Simi. And it's a wrap Thank for this you. episode. Adios.